Yeah. All right. All right. Heck yeah. Well, here we are, guys. Yep. Um, we are so excited to show you guys this run. This we all four of us have been working so hard on you know perfecting this and practicing everything, and we're just so excited to show you how this game's evolved over the last few years. So, dope. Um, I don't know what our, if we have a file name or yeah. Does anyone have like a file name and setup? Yeah. Okay. I guess AGDQ 2014 or something. 2024. 2024, sorry. <laughs> Ten years back. <laughs> I uh, guess just it, there is come no, up with whatever you want. Whatever you want. AGDQ 2024. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And All right. Uh, I guess we'll count down. All right. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. All right, good luck, dude. Good luck. Thank man. you. Good luck. Okay, so we are so excited to show everybody this run. Um, there is a lot of old and new material. Um, I think a lot of surprises that are going to be happening in this run. I don't know if everybody remembers the Majora's Mask relay that happened in 2016, um, but I mean, I mean, here we are eight years later yep. doing this again. I mean, I can't believe that it's been eight years since that. I remember watching that live, and I was so inspired to, uh, you know, practice and, you know, get up here and, you know, try for myself. So and we're finding it here. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're finally yeah. here. Yeah. So um, get ready for five hours of just awesome gaming, everybody. So Heck yeah. we're really excited. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just introduce everybody here to start. Uh, my name is Pope Squidward um, and we have Dope, um, Dope Zara, yep. who's playing first. <laughs> Um, Marco next to me and Morpheus um, over there. And essentially what we did for this 100% run is we just picked um, four different segments, uh, just like cut them off to where, you know, we can just take over and, you know, do our part. But uh, we've been having fun with it and we hope to meet that uh, incentive for the blindfolded Majora thing because that, that's going to be really cool to see. So Yeah, definitely um, put your money towards that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Um, so... For those that are familiar with Majora's Mask, um, the beginning is a little slow. Uh, we have a lot of cutscenes, so this is what we call first cycle. Um, and so basically the game is segmented into what we call cycles, which is a um, like a three day you know, cycle. Um, and so what happens is we basically just divide it up into those different segments. And the cycle ends when we play Song of Time uh, to go back to the first day. So first cycle is essentially 20 minutes of, you know, playing as Deku, becoming human, doing a couple things to, you know, get the run started. Um, and then cycle two is going to be the majority of this run. So it's about three hours long, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah just uh, about. Yeah, so... This is going to be a, a, a nice long run, so get comfy, and uh, we're, we're going to have some fun with this. So, um, if you guys, do you have anything to say about the start or anything? Um, so, I guess to define what 100% is real quick yeah. and what the NMG definition is. So, 100% defined in Majora's Mask is anything that travels back with you when you play the Song of Time. So, stuff like boss keys and a small rupee chest don't really count towards that goal. So, um... Uh, there are a lot of things we're going to be getting, like heart pieces, tingle maps. Um, dungeon compasses and maps do actually go back with you in time, so we'll be getting those as well on top of a lot of other things. Right, and there's um, there's various like chests that we're not going to be opening in this round, like what Dope said, um, where if, if it does not go back in time with you and it doesn't stay on your pause menu, then it does not count towards the 100% requirement. So, you know, like red rupee chests, even boss keys, like boss keys don't go back in time with you, so we're not going to be collecting the boss keys, which... Sounds kind of interesting because, you know, to beat the dungeons, you got to collect the boss keys, but uh, we're going to have some fun with that um, if you haven't seen any of uh, the, the, the tricks in this run. But um, so, yeah, we got lots of, um, lots of cutscenes to start. And uh, I mean, even if we have any donations to start right now, that would be awesome. Yeah. Of course we do. They're rolling in hard and fast. We've got $50 from Pitchcart. 
Love me some Zelda speedruns. Less than three. Good luck, Pope, Marco, Morpheus, and Dobzera, and may the doggos be kind to you. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we have a $50 donation from ALTR Rhombus, who just says, Hot, 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 get, yeah! <laughs> and other various link sounds. Okay, so... Um, I guess we could just start with um, just a basic understanding of some of the glitches that we're going to be seeing at the start of this. Um, so one thing you're going to notice right away is um, a good portion of this run, when we are not Goron, um, we're going to be moving backwards a lot. Um, and the reason for that is the game was programmed for some reason to where when you're backwalking as you know Link or Zora, whatever, or Deku... Um, Link speed is actually faster if you're back walking than if you're rolling forwards. So um, that's just like an interesting thing that you're going to pick up on right away here. Um, but um, we've got a bunch of uh, stuff to start at the like at the beginning of cycle two. We're going to be seeing a lot of stuff right away. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially, what Dope's going to be doing here is you know making his way through Clock Town, collecting rupees, and uh, setting up a Certain. I'm actually not going to give it away. I want the, the, the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but when we get there, I'll explain it. Yeah, but. we're going to try to go at the end of the first cycle as fast as possible, pretty much, because you mm -hmm. can't do much in first cycle since you're stuck as Deku. Right. However, with this route, we actually, and I think this first cycle currently actually has like the most amount of stuff that yeah. we actually do because we're actually going to be completing uh, all of the Deku Playground mini games. Yeah, that's the longest first cycle, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we, we got a pretty hefty intro here, but we're, we're yeah we're essentially just going to be completing the Deku Playground heart piece right away on top of you know what we're already used to, which yeah. is going around getting a bunch of rupees and uh, you know setting up the the rest of the run. But um, and then when first echo is done, it's gonna pick up quite fast, and glitches are gonna start. Right. Yeah. We can do more donations. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see. We have a fifty dollar from donation from Jet Boy the Mage. They say. Is this a real run? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a glitchless run, no out of bounds for me. Open your eyes, look up to the screen and see. Thank you for that donation. That was great. <laughs> And we have a $50 donation from Isaac, who says, donating for my favorite childhood game, Majora's Mask. Really looking forward to seeing how this run is done. Best of luck to the runners, and hopefully they can avoid a terrible fate. Uh, hopefully. Okay, so coming up here, we're going to need some quiets. Uh, this is our first trick that we're going to be doing, um, and I can you know, explain more of this after, but mm -hmm. uh, basically we're going to be skipping this uh, Happy Mask Salesman cutscene coming up here, and we're just going to need quiet here for the next 30-ish seconds for dope here. So that's another thing you're going to be seeing a lot in this run is a lot of pausing. Um, yeah. And that is what we call pause buffering. So when a cutscene is trying to activate in this game, essentially the way that it activates is by having two consecutive frames while you're in that cutscene trigger, um, like back to back. So right there, Dope is essentially just pause buffering, you know, frame by frame all the way through that um, area where the cutscene would normally activate. And what that does is you're actually able to move entirely through that area into the load zone uh, to be able to skip that. So that, I mean, that trick alone saves like 40 seconds yeah. or something. Yeah. So it's a, it, it's a big one. Um, and then Dope is going to go to uh, DQ Playground 1. Mm -hmm. uh, he got 10 rupees at the start for that. Yeah, so you're going to be seeing some real interesting movement here too, where um, just... 
you know, you're going to be sort of clenching up here at these these, these jumps here. Yeah. Um, I won't give too much away, but... Uh, That's next one, yeah. Yeah, the second one is the right. scariest for sure. Yeah. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, that's yeah. probably good. Yeah, yeah, better be safe. That cycle's so hard to make. Yeah, so the, the, these platforms that move up and down, it's, it's sometimes hard to gauge like how quickly they're moving up, yeah. and, and it, you can sort of get caught on the edge and jump off, and then... Yeah, yeah. at least a cycle. It's not RNG. Yeah, right, right. It's good to at least play yeah. it safe. Yeah. Good. Nice. So actually, uh, I mean, Marco, you're more familiar with this route. I've, yeah. I, I've actually been playing a different route. So yeah, it's not true. It's not as fast as this one is, um, but this one um, gets more stuff out of the way early in the intro. So maybe you could say, like, where he's going, what, what he's doing. Or... Yeah, so this route does uh, DQ Playground in cycle one, which is pretty new. We used to do this in cycle two later. So essentially what it does is that in the night three, we're going to try to get as soon as possible to night three so that we can get to midnight where we can then enter the tower. Uh, so the good thing about doing DQ Playground in Cycle 1 is that you can do Day, th uh, day 3 DQ Playground because DQ Playground is divided into uh, three parts, one per day. So he just did Day 1 there. He's going to do Day 2 then and then Day 3. So. While waiting for midnight to the tower for to open, you can uh, do the mini game, and I think Imbued and Gigo were the one working on the route, and they figured out that it was a little bit faster to do this in cycle one. Mm -hmm. There's there's been various you know adjustments and route changes that have happened sort of recently that have uh, sort of just added up with the amount of time that we're able to save in the intro here. Yeah. Um, so A another good thing about doing this is that you get some rupees. You get 50 rupees for the two first days. So you can then deposit them in the bank, which would be useful later. Okay, so this one is a bit trickier. Um, yeah. We have uh, some interesting movement coming up here. Yeah, this one looks very cool. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool one. Nice. Uh, oh. <laughs> I went a little early there. Yeah. yeah. Almost made it. That's good. The good thing about this is we yeah. can... Uh, Our know. money's fine, too. Yeah, yeah the cycles are going to be different, so you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. I think it should be relatively the same here. Mm. Yeah, I usually reset when I miss this, so I don't know how the cycle <laughs> is going to be. <laughs> it should be the same, yeah. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, 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 just yeah, like yeah. Say, probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> the camera was a little sketch. Yeah. Oh. We're a little stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this mini game is a yeah. little finicky, but we have plenty of money to work yeah, with. Yeah. I think you have to grab the three from the Keaton grass after this. Oh, do I? Yeah, because yeah. you have ninety six. You need ninety nine. All right, this time it should be the the same. I just need to hover here a little. Yep. Yeah, this is the hardest. My, yeah, definitely. Uh, I remember practicing this, and it was definitely not easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go get... I'll just reload the room. Yeah, yeah get think, the, the yeah. normal cycle. You're right. That's better. Yeah, doing that little ESS walk there, um, like that little shuffle step... 
to the uh, edge of the platform there. It's it's a little weird in how it works because you want to be right on the edge so that you can side hop and then make it onto the next mm. one. Yeah, without grabbing the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, this, this mini game isn't just notorious for people failing, especially doing these like hard strats. Okay, I don't know why he didn't even grab. <laughs> This is very interesting. Uh, All right, so five, six, seven, eight. We need. We could always go in terminal field too. Uh, yeah, I guess. Or just to Keaton bushes until I have enough money. I think Keaton bushes would be better. All right, let's focus this time. Nice. There we go. Uh, All right. right. This is very tricky. That, that's very tricky. <laughs> nice job, man. Ooh. <laughs> that mini game is why I switched over to the route that Pope does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, yeah. Keep, yeah. This is totally fun. Yeah. Keaton bushes are gonna be fun. That mini game is very difficult. Oh, talking to Tingle. Don't need the math. Nice little, <laughs> little tingle chit chat here. I, lo I love the, the the talking ranchers. Just incredible. Yeah, it's <laughs> so far away. I think yeah. it's the only tingle that has. Yeah, this. yeah, he does that. <laughs> and we uh, we got some time for donations yeah. again. It's yeah, absolutely. I'd like to start by giving a quick incentive update, right, for the 4P1C fight. So right now we're at 59% or $26,613 towards oh. that $45,000 goal. Remember, all four runners are going to blindfold themselves and share one controller to beat the final boss of Majora's Mask. You really want to see that, so get those donations in. And then, of course, we have a donation from Nux Tenma. They donate $34. They say, did I hear D20 donations? I rolled a 17, but I'm going to go ahead and double it because I got to see some 4P1C. Okay, so now we are advancing it to night. Uh, what 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 day is this? This is day two. Day two. We're yeah, yeah, advancing yeah. it to night three. Yeah, we'll talk to him three times. Mini oh, that's right. Dances. That's right. Yeah, okay. and then get to night three and do the third mini game, the Q playground. After we deposit to the bank. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try to deposit two hundred rupees in this cycle to get the wallet. Mm -hmm. Just one more. <laughs> but yeah, now that it's night three, um, we're going to immediately start saving up for um, in the bank for a trick coming on in a little bit. Uh, we still want to keep it a surprise, so so far we're just putting all the money we've gotten from Deku Playground into the bank, and then we're gonna do we're gonna get the magic, and then we're gonna do the last playground mini game. This game has a really hefty intro with the Deku. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, this is actually a really um, like tough um, you know barrier of entry for a lot of you know new speedrunners is the uh, the intro is just so time consuming um, yeah like the game is fantastic it's so fantastic to speedrun and you just have to you know find a little bit of extra time with with the with the resets and uh, you know play through that intro and I've I've done that quite a bit so <laughs> I, I looked at my my counter for this intro the other day and I am thousands well well into 10,000 oh, really? intros of this 20 minute oh, like total yeah. across the game yeah <laughs> so. I think for just this category alone I have like over 6,000 yeah it's eventually you kind of just get used to it you, <laughs> you just kind of go on autopilot here but uh, right after we turn human that's where it starts to get uh, like pretty exciting right yeah. away yeah so he's going to go back over here and do uh, Deku Playground 3 now. And we're going to grab this heart piece. We actually used to get this heart piece, like Marco said. We used to get this in cycle two, about yeah. two and a half hours into this run. Um, but it's actually just turns out that it's faster to uh, complete this area, you know, this way rather than doing it that way. 
Get some for donation or two. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. You got some more. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. We have a $50 donation from Rex. They say, I have to get, don't laugh at me. I have to give one during my, oh my gosh. We have a $50 donation from Rex. <laughs> Thank you, Rex. They say, I have to give during one of my favorite games growing up. Excited to see that blindfolded 4P, one seat, Majora fight. Good night, Moon. And thank you to Tiny Cat Giggles for their $50 donation. They say, we've had one million, yes, but what about a second million? It's climbed quite a bit since I last checked, I mean, yeah. even last night. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of money raised for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Once it hits a million, it, it kind of, you know, skyrockets past it usually, so. How about a $50 donation from Majora? They say, hey, AGDQ, thanks for charging my mask. Can I get that back now? I'm on a tight three-day schedule. <laughs> Okay, so this one's not as scary as the other one. Yeah, number yeah. two. Number two is the. There, there's a little. There's like two jumps here, but they're they're not that bad, and you can skip them if you really. Yeah, want. you don't even have to go that fast for this one because you have to wait for the yeah. night anyway. Nice. Yeah, like this jump. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and you're right. This repeats the last one, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I thought it you're was over there. That. <laughs> All right, nice job. Done with the deck you play. <laughs> First art piece of the run. Yeah. And only 40 or 50, 51. 51 to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of. This game has a lot of side quests, a lot of heart pieces. So uh, get comfy, everybody. A lot of mini games. Oh, the next rupee is actually a funny one that yeah. Hope's going to get. Mm -hmm. He's going to deposit the nine, the 99 rupees. And then he's going to get uh, a rupee from the uh, swordsman. Uh, which is uh, on the gong at yeah. the back of the room. And what's funny about that rupee is that you can only get it every 30 minutes, in-game time minutes. So he needs to wait until uh, 10.30 and then hit the gong. And then there is a surprise blue rupee that pops up. I, I didn't even know this existed until recently. The the yeah. surprise blue rupee from here? I learned it in rando. Yeah. How do you even find this casually? I know, right? <laughs> there it is. The more you know. Yeah, it's every half hour interval yeah. is when you can get the rippy. Okay, so here you're going to see some funky movements. And I'll let, I'll let Dope focus here for a second. Awesome. Okay. Nice. So, uh, essentially what happened there was uh, we d doped at something called collection delay. Um, and so what that does is... Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So what that, essentially what that does is it allows for you to collect an item in an interesting way. So right there, when he side hopped onto that like edge with the flower pots, um, what it did is it put um, Deku Link into a um, like an altered state sort of to where once he deposited the rupees to get the 200 rupee wallet to the banker, uh, he didn't receive it right away, if you noticed. And um, that part of it is the delay. And so what, what happened was he actually moved in front of, there's a sign that's up above on the side of where the banker is. And that text is able to delay uh, the flag that says that he got the rupee wallet from the banker, if that makes sense. So now the game, um, is unaware that he got the rupee wallet from the banker. Um, and that actually is important because um, as per the 100% requirements, uh, we actually don't have to go through the Oceanside Spider House and collect all the Skulltula tokens now. So that we, we're going to go in there to get the heart piece later, but we don't have to collect all the Skulltula tokens uh, because we can just get that 500 rupee wallet from the banker later. Yeah. Um, so um, and the reason why we don't collect the... 
uh, tokens is because uh, they don't go back in time with you. So that's just part of what we um, decided was the 100% requirement for the game, and uh, it completely, you know, skips that whole part of the Oceanside Spider House. So it, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that was found in early 2019-ish, and. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad that we have to skip the ocean side. Yeah, yeah, ocean side's I, pretty cool. I, yeah, yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, we still have to go in there for the harpies, but we don't collect any of the sculptural tokens. And we are almost done with the first cycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like six minutes of cutscene again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then second cycle is a good three plus hours of gaming content. Yeah. Yep. Very intense gaming. And we have plenty of time for donations here. More, more yep. cutscenes all over the place. So that's perfect because we have a ton of donations rolling in. Fifty dollars from Balsa Wood. I started watching Pope Squidward after his last GDQ appearance and have never looked back. Now my toddler asks for the Pope stream by name. <laughs> Press H if you hate cancer. H. <laughs> oh, all those H's in the crowd. I love it. We have fifty dollars from Garo. Regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular, I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. I hear that many people gather together across the world to watch a select few defeat us with swiftness and ease. More importantly, they raise rupees for a cause, both mighty and valiant, to defeat a terrible foe called cancer. Belief or disbelief rests with you to die without leaving a corpse. That is the way of Ascado. I love these impressions. These are great. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> you got time for another one? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, this is $15 from Non-Binary Code who says, since I'm here in the audience, you may be surprised to learn that I didn't have a D20 on me, so I rolled one online and I got a three. I then sent my results to the lab and they eventually got back to me with their conclusions and it seems that three times five is 15, so here are my $15. I couldn't come up with a better joke in the moment, so if you would, please kindly do an impersonation of one of the hosts who is not you doing an impersonation of Link. Okay, so I'm going to do my best Brutal Mellow. I hope you're ready for this. Hey, everybody. It's me, Brutal Mellow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> that was pretty good. We're still working? I got more. I got $200 yeah. from Saturday yeah. Hockey. I was wondering if anyone has seen a strange-looking <laughs> bird anywhere. It stole my gold rupee, and I'm trying to get it back. If you happen to find it, could you donate it to the Prevent Cancer Foundation for me? Thanks. So, yeah, right after I got obtained the Ocarina, uh, we learned Song of Time, and then I immediately used it. And you might have noticed that right after I hit yes on that text box, I actually reset the console. Um, and that basically what happens is that the game saves the first frame that you hit yes on that Song of Time text box. So if you just reset, you can skip all the flashback cutscenes that usually happen, and it saves a good amount of time for something really easy. And that's that. Do, or actually, resetting the consoles banned in bug limit. <laughs> oh. And finally, we are turning Human Link after half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, finally do we, get to play. Do we want to explain NMG? I don't think we have yet. Oh yeah. So um, recently, we did a sort of a revamp on our Majora's Mask leaderboards, um, and so. The no major glitches title that is the um, the category that we're playing right now, and so over the past like couple years, um, we have made just a, so many discoveries on what's called um, stale reference manipulation um, and uh, arbitrary code execution. That it's I, I honestly, when I first heard this, I had no idea what any of this meant, and I was so confused. But and I'm still confused to this day. But mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, the 100% category that you're seeing here is um, different than what we used to play like a couple years ago. Um, and so basically what no major glitches means is it doesn't allow for those two things that I mentioned to be in the run. Um, and those two things uh, are just very, very powerful glitches that allow you to basically warp wherever you want. Um, you can edit a treasure chest to give you any item that you want. And, you know, we felt that uh, that it was a bit 
too powerful um, of, of a glitch and it kind of took away from a lot of the speed run. And so uh, no major glitches is, um, it was born. And now that's kind of what I would say most people are playing now, yeah. Um, yeah. you know. And, uh, you know, I I dabbled in the SRM 100% runs where, you know, you essentially just go up to a treasure chest, give yourself any item that you want and, you know, progress to the game that way. Um, and uh, that's um, kind of just how this all evolved here. And um, I'm definitely favored to the no major glitches categories yeah. over the, yeah. <laughs> the other ones. I know, Marco, have you even played any, like, SRM no, categories? I, I yeah. haven't, no. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the, those yeah. categories, yeah. I mean, the discoveries are incredible, but I mean, it, it sort of is a novelty in a way to where it's, yeah. it's really cool, but it kind of takes away from what we view as, um, you know, what what makes speedrunning fun. Keeping you know? the integrity. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, is Cycle 2 is going to start? Yeah, right now. Oh, yep. Okay, so to start off here, um, we are going to get bombs. Um, and bombs are very, very important in this game. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of different tricks and stuff related to bombs. Um, and the reason is because the bomb collision, uh, when combined with Link, is actually very... Uh, it, it, it gives very um, awkward effects to Link's position and the camera angles um, and all that stuff. And so um, we're just going to, you know, withdraw the rupees here, get the bomb bag, and uh, start with the run here. And um, we do have a pretty important trick coming up here, but uh, I mean, we, we're we good just now for a couple more donations if you have any. Like one, but, yeah. yeah. One, I've got you. We've got $50 from Box Meal. So happy to see four of my favorite runners showcasing my favorite Zelda game on the big stage. Watching at home with my wife, Lavender, and I also want to wish her a happy birthday. Let's hit that blindfolded Majora fight incentive and prevent cancer together. We are almost $15,000 away from it, folks. We are going to get that incentive if you keep those donations coming in. I know we can do it. All right, first trick coming up right here. I'll explain after he's done here. All right. Some nice lag here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Okay, very confusing stuff there. So, um, okay, so essentially what happened there was Dope uh, activated a glitch with Link's sword called Infinite Sword Glitch. And essentially what that is, is it's one of the oldest tricks in these N64 Zeldas. Um, and essentially what he did was he um, did a crouch stab and he interrupted that crouch stab with an action. And that action was picking up the bomb. And so what that does is it puts his sword into into a infinitely swinging state. Um, and that gives a bunch of adverse effects as well um, when that happens. And there's actually a trick coming up here. I'm going to keep quiet for him to do this one as well. And then I'll, I'll, I'll further explain after that. There's going to be a lot of glitches. Yeah, lots of back-to-back -back stuff here in the yeah. next like, few minutes. Yeah, this Sonata segment is yeah, we'll have notorious. We'll have some good scenes to explain them afterwards. Yes. But yeah, that's an ISG. Yeah, locked a little. So yeah, that's fine. We can go ahead and reset it up. Nice. Oh. 
Need to find the grotto. The exit. There it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get ready for uh, uh mm. <laughs> the bean man. Uh, uh, mm. I love how they added that into this <laughs> game. The OT, the Ocarina of Time version of him does not make any sound, so it's pretty funny. Um, okay, so just real quick, I'll touch on what, what just happened there. So when you enter a grotto like this in this game, what happens is you're placed onto a map where all the other grottos actually exist, uh, but they're just not loaded in. And so what's happening is... Man, there's another trick right here. I'm actually yeah. going to keep quiet for him again. Okay, I got a weird side hop. Uh, True. I'll just wait for the guard here. Yeah, he shouldn't shoot me. I can go around this side. Oh, okay. And then there's the guy over here. Don't catch me. There we go. There we go. But yeah, I was just trying to do a uh, what's called a double bomb staircase up onto this platform. Oh. Okay. Okay, so back to what I was touching on with the grottos. So essentially what happens there is you go into the grotto and all the other grottos actually exist. They're just not loaded into the map. Um, or they're not visible, rather. So... What happens is you actually can exit a grotto, go out of bounds, and go right into another grotto and end up somewhere else in the game. Um, and so they're all connected in that way. Um, and, you know, that's basically what happened there. And um, here we are at Sonata. That's actually a really tough segment. So can we yeah. just get a round of applause for Dope? Because th this is definitely a very tough segment of the run. It's probably the biggest reset point in the run. Oh, yeah, for sure. Across, like, any category? Yeah. Um, yeah, so after this, Dope is going to get a uh, uh, song of soaring. So maybe you can explain... Um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hidden Owl. Yeah. In yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. when... The, originally, when, when Dope is in Clocktown, you know, hovering up and hitting the Clocktown Owl there, so that South Clocktown Owl is actually not the actual South Clocktown Owl when you're loaded into West Clocktown. Um, so what he did is he got the infinite sword glitch and the effects of that is that he's actually able to do um, bomb hovers um, to where he can use the uh, explosion of the bomb uh, in relation to his sword swinging to be able to essentially get stuck in the air. And you can do that multiple times in a row and you're going to be seeing that a lot in this run too. Um, but you, get, you can suspend yourself in the air and you know fly all around and do a bunch of cool stuff. Um, but when he hit that owl, uh, it actually did something in the background of the game to where he is able to soar to other owls that we actually have not been to yet. Um, and the way that you're able to do that is by going into your pause menu and selecting a certain map point. Um, so you're going to see after he gets the song of soaring coming up here, he's going to go to his map and or actually, that's that's a little bit later on. That, but yeah, that's your route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a route. Yeah, there. yeah. But um, yeah, he's eventually, you know, song of soaring. When you soar around, um, he's gonna go, you know, into his uh, map screen and select a certain map point, and each map point corresponds with a certain owl. Yeah. Um, and so that's gonna be extremely helpful, uh, because mainly because of the stone tower owl that's at the top of like right at the entrance of stone tower. So we can now bypass having to climb Stone Tower entirely, and we don't have to have the Elegy of Emptiness uh, to be able to climb the tower. We can just, you know, use that glitch to be able to get up there, and then later on we'll get the Elegy of Emptiness. Yeah, the downside oh. of that trick is that if you activate any owl, then the trick doesn't work anymore. So what we're going to do is activate the Stone Tower owl first, which is the, the worst one to get, mm -hmm. and then uh, activate all the other ones. Because the owl, you have to activate the owl for the 100% completion. And then we do have um, just some quiet time coming up here as well for uh, this grotto coming up. The last stressful part. Yeah, this is this will be the last like stressful grotto here. <laughs> you got this, dude. I'm also keeping an eye on game, in game time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice bomb drop. Yeah. yeah, that was helpful. 
That's okay. That's that fine. Nice. nice. There we go. So now we're in Mountain Village, or yep. Goron Village. <laughs> um, so that's what's called uh, the the Lens Grotto alternate exit. Um, and that's exactly what happened in the, in the P-Hack Grotto from earlier to where uh, you essentially just go out of bounds and you can end up in another grotto at another part of the game. So there's just... It, it, it's kind of hard to keep track of, you know, everywhere that we're going here because we just go so many different places all the time. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, and there Dope said his map pointer to uh, Woodfall. Uh, yeah, so... Thank you, Palace, I think. Right, right, right. And then that's going to put him in the mountain village here. Right, exactly, yeah. And one interesting thing there is when you play it... So if you have the, the Owl Glitch active, it's called Index Warp. Um, but if you have it active, um, after you play Song of Soaring, if you're on the map screen, you'll, you'll notice it's kind of like buggy a little bit. And if you move the control stick at all, the game will actually crash. So you got to be super careful to not like touch the control stick or, or the game will uh, um, get confused, I guess. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Okay, so now we are getting arguably the most important mask in this entire game. Yeah. Which we're going to be using a lot. Mr. Darmani. Yeah, the Goron mask here is our best mode of transportation. It's very fast. Uh, Goron's top speed um, with the spiked charge roll is the same as uh, a different trick called a hyperextended super slide. Um, where you basically roll and you get a bunch of backward speed off of a bomb, and it's the speed is equivalent to go on there. So before entering the the grotto in the swamp, Dope talked about how uh, he had to be careful about his in-game time, right? So in this category, it's interesting. You have to uh, really manage the in-game time so that you can get to some stuff that are uh, at certain. Um, what is it called? Just certain points. So, so yeah, essentially, like the, there's like the room key, for example. Right. Yeah. So, there, so there's two like key item or two key points of the time that we're keeping track of here, and one of them is we absolutely have to make it to the room key at the inn. Um, in between, I think it's 1:45 to 4:20 p.m. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. there, there's like a small increment of time that we have to make sure that we're there to be able to get it before the Goron uh, comes and you know claims his room or whatever. Um, so, we. Um, are kind of keeping track of that with the in-game time right now, but also trying to get other things done in the process. Yeah. Um, so, and then the, yeah. se the second thing is um, the aliens uh, segment. We definitely do not want to miss the aliens because yeah. that is... Uh, it's it, it, we, we need the bottle, and it's really, you know, annoying to have to, you know, back that up. And Yeah. It's hard to back up to the Kremia West side, mm -hmm. side quest for the rest of Angio and Cafe. This... Uh, th th this... Like in-game time management of this game is so unique. Like, yeah. I, like comparing to other Zelda speedruns, especially. I mean, it's 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 kind of cool. Like how much we fit into like a small increment of time. Yeah. Like Cycle Two has almost all the game. Yeah. All yeah. The quest and stuff. So optimally, you're you're not supposed to invert at all in this part until room key. But the good thing is that you can still play safe and invert to still make it on time. Right. Which we are gonna do here. Yeah. I'd say we probably invert soon. Yeah. And he's going to do a trick here, just yep. real fast. Yeah, so he's going to try to skip the cutscene of Mikau walking. And oh, nice. there we go. Yeah, so we saw it starting barely. Okay. Yeah. So that's actually really tricky. Um, yeah, he essentially, uh, Mikau is on a cycle um, where he's sort of bobbing up and down. and. Uh, when you push him to the shore, he has to get to that certain part of that bobbing process to be able to start walking up the shore. Um, and so basically what Dope did there is he, he timed the, uh, you know, the cycle there to where he pushed as Goran, but was 
entering a load zone at the same time that that cutscene started. So we just completely bypassed that cutscene. And so now, you know, Macau is up mm -hmm. where he's supposed to be. Bible thump. <laughs> oh. And we, uh, we got some time for donations. Yeah. That's perfect. We have a $50 donation from uh, Spicy Leak. Four players fighting Majora with one controller blindfolded. Now that I have to 4P1C. Uh, oh. Uh, thank y'all for, yeah. <laughs> for running this amazing game. We are 75% of the way to getting that blindfolded 4P1C Majora fight. Uh, your donations are coming in fast, but we still need to reach that before the end of this run. So please get those donations in. We also have $30 from Dujitsu. Where does Skull Kid play baseball? In the Majora Leagues. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Put this money towards Blue Dog. He'll win one day, right? No. Right? Uh, Probably not. <laughs> impossible. We've got $50 from Aksanyi. I've been watching Pope Squidward for years now. From his early MM any percent runs to his GDQ run to a couple of hard-earned world records. And each milestone seems sweeter than the last. Your community has become such a huge comfort to me and so many others. And you should be proud of what you've created. I know that whenever I need cheering up, I can click on your stream. Thank you everyone for showing off your amazing skills and raising money for such a great cause. Putting this toward the 4P1C incentive. I've got to see it. Thank you, Exani. Okay, so um, we are headed into Pirate's Fortress now, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no. just going to do this real quick. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and slow down time here to be able to meet that uh, room key, you know, time requirement. Um, but there's uh, some interesting stuff that's going to be happening here in Pirate's Fortress. Uh, so we're going to be picking up the hook shots, and we need to get a heart piece. And this heart piece, um, I'm not going to give it away, but uh, the way that it's done is actually very interesting. So yeah, at the beginning of the run, we're essentially getting like the very important items first, like Zora Mask, Goran Mask, and then right. the hook shot. All, all, the, all the, you know, the movement masks yeah. and items are really important, and bombs too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a super slide during the cutscene. And Link cool. is actually moving during yeah. this. So I'm holding R here, and he's actually, you'll be able to see him slide into this corner yeah, here. Corner. Yeah. yeah. So we're at the bottom now, and uh, basically that, that glitch that he just used is called a super slide. And what happens is you roll into a bomb with a shield, and uh, you interrupt the pickup with um, the explosion of the bomb, essentially. And I'm actually going to let him focus here to be able to do this. Uh, I'll just buffer this one. Nice. Nice. Good. So another use of bomb bombs there. Um, typically, you'd need the hook shot to be able to get across there. Um, and, uh, you know, right there, we just used some hovers and did uh, what's called a mega flip uh, in the air. And uh, that's another one of those, uh, you know, using the uh, explosion of the bomb to be able to propel you in a certain direction sort of thing. And, I mean, Pirate's Fortress oh, is just nice. Bomb. Oh, nice. All right, now I got to be a little careful here when going yeah. up. Nice. Nice, dude. Awesome. Go back up. Good lineup. Oh, another new glitch. Awesome. There's so, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, that's a time stop. Um, so right there, he did what's called time stop. Um, and so what that was, was he essentially used a, a bomb. And at a certain point of the bomb explosion, uh, when Link is about to change his animation, uh, you can actually use a cutscene item. In that case, it was the Goron Mask, to where uh, you can suspend. You basically, it's. I mean, it's called time stop, but basically time stops, and then there's other effects with that as well. And right there, the the time stop portion of that is that 
completely avoided the cutscene there of the pirates, you know, meeting up and, and talking and all that stuff. So that's a huge time save from that. All right. Uh, really hoping I don't get caught here. No, no dude. No. What nope. the heck? <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> All right. Well, at least there's this door here. <laughs> Good door. Yeah. So, yeah. Little prank. That was intentional. Just gives us quick access over to the sewers here. So, a pretty neat trick. Yeah. So, this trick's actually pretty cool. Um, he's basically going to get a certain angle here after climbing up the ladder. Yeah, and he's going to try to land on this uh, little windy thing that we're trying to uh, yeah, so push the, you. Yeah. So the these drafts down uh, in, in the, the fans allow you to uh, basically store the uh, flower propellers. Um, and like once you void out in the water and you land at a certain angle in there, the flowers pop up and then the, the angle allows for you to clip out of bounds and, you know, completely bypass the sewers here. And so there we go. Nice. Nicely done. Nice, dude. So making our way back to Clock Town, uh, gonna do pick up a few things. We're gonna do the start the bombers side quest, uh, get Cafe's mask, and then get our room key. And then we have our favorite man <laughs> who is posting. Oh man, that is coming up soon, isn't it? Nice. Yep. Uh, we got some time for donations if you want. Certainly, five dollars from Zero Star Ice, who says five dollars to buy Link some milk. He is a growing boy. <laughs> Thank you to Anonymous for your two hundred dollar donation. You say I've been watching for years, but this one hits a little closer to home, as my brother was diagnosed with cancer just a few weeks ago. He is the one who introduced me to Zelda when we were kids, and Majora's Mask has always been my favorite. So of course, I had to donate during this awesome run. Best of luck to the runners, and let's get that four-player blindfolded final boss fight unlocked. We're 79% of the way there. I can also go ahead and invert now. So quick pit stop for Cafe's Mask. <laughs> well, I got some time for more donos too. Absolutely. A hundred and eighty-five dollar donation from All Hail Mothman. Thank you very much. They say as a DM of three games, I rolled three dice for the D20 game. I got a 12, 15, and 10. 37 times 5 is 185. Let's see this 4P1C blindfolded fight. Thank you for that donation. Nice, good time in here. So now um, we're going to go ahead and take this uh, room key from the Goron that typically would be coming in here soon. Stealing his room forever. Never going to use it. <laughs> no, nope, we're never going to use it once. I mean, we, t we technically use the key when we enter yeah. the end later, uh, yeah. but we don't actually room go itself, in the room. Yeah. yeah. So you're actually going to be seeing later on in this run this uh, Honey and Darling minigame. Uh, there's a very special way that we're going to be doing it the third time. Uh, the first couple times it's, you know, the regular minigame, but the third time we'll be keeping an eye out for that one because uh, that'll be a good explanation for what's happening there. Nice. nice. Perfect. Perfect. I love how, like, you could not play perfect and it will always <laughs> say perfect no matter yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> and coming up is going to be uh, the Postman minigame where you have to uh, stop a timer at 10 seconds flat and the Postman is going to give you a hard piece if you succeed. I have a lot to say about the Postman that, <laughs> I, won't, that I won't say on this stage right now, but Postman is yeah. very brutal. <laughs> it's yeah. very tough. It's frame perfect at 60 FPS. 
Yeah, in the US version, it's one tenth of a second to yeah. get it, but in the Japanese version, it's way harder. Yeah, I don't know why. There's there's so many differences between the US and and Japanese yeah. versions of this game, and we we you know sort of you know mix it up for the certain categories that we do for each version. Um, but we're gonna actually take turns uh, passing around the controller for Postman because it's so difficult that we're gonna put four players to the <laughs> to the test here. Yeah. See how many times we can get this. All right. And audience, if you want to keep count of our attempts, go ahead. <laughs> that was late, yeah. All right. One. Oh, it's early. Yep. Two. <laughs> oh, oh, that's unlucky. unlucky. That, that was actually so the this, frame. I so, got the frame. So he got the frame there, yeah. but that was the unlucky frame. It was yeah. the, the... So I'm cursed, dude. Yeah, you are, you are cursed, <laughs> man. Actually. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, two frame four. Already. Yeah. I promise we'll get this below fifty. <laughs> We're gonna turn night, dude. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna turn night here, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's early again. Really. It's gonna turn nice for me, I guess. Yeah, do you just want to check real quick? Should we check? Yeah. No, I, I can do it if it's okay, yeah. even if it there's ninth. Yeah. Okay. I should be fine. Oh, that was not <laughs> that's that's, that's way go. harder. <laughs> I was just one cycle early, yeah. How many was that? Seven. Oh, oh, another 10.01. That was so good, too. Oh. That's 2016 all over again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Man, <laughs> so brutal. Nah. Oh. oh, come oh. on, man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so oh crazy. It's always 0 .01 off. Yeah. Yeah, 10.01 is technically an input frame late, but uh, it, it, so in theory it's a skill issue, but it's not. It, you can't do anything. Ah, that's really. Yeah, 10.0. 10 10 All right, what are we at? 11? 10.0, 10.01, .10 .10 share the same visual frame. Yeah. At a certain point, we got to invert. Yeah. Uh, that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Morph. Morpheus. Nice. Good job. That, the, the postman is like probably the hardest part of this entire run. So yeah, we're, I think we're it's glad hard. Be, we're yeah. glad we actually got the hard piece this time. So, <laughs> Marco, if you want to explain like what you discovered about this, because Marco's yeah. done so oh, much yeah. labbing with, with the postman. Like, Yeah, so this minigame is very weird. So when we do it, we, we're not actually counting in our head, right? So we are looking at the triangles that turn around the postman's head. And on the same frame, you can actually get uh, I think five different results. So 999, uh, 10, 1001, 1002, and 1003. Right? So, what I figured out is that somehow, and Trev and Imbute also did some work on it, somehow if you play the game as Deku, 999 should be more rare to get than, um, than on, with other forms, like Goron or Human or even Zora. 
And uh, so, yeah, when I got 9 in there, I had the, the right frame, but I got unlucky. It's very rare as Dick. Yeah. It should be rare, but yeah. we're not even 100% sure. It's, but it's, it's just testing. But it's interesting. Uh, we we did all this, uh, you know, trying to figure out what was going on with 10.01, 9.99. Yeah. Marco discovered that yeah. you it actually matters for what transformation mask you're using when you press the A button for what result you're going to get. So it turns out that because you know we used Deku there, um, Deku actually is a higher chance of getting the 10.00 that we need as opposed to all the other ones that are. For whatever reason, yeah, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't at all. make any sense. Yeah. I mean, we, we we went in that room. We were looking at you know different C button equips. Uh, what if if the music was on or off yeah. in there? Like it's just superstition at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand it. Yeah. But I mean, and again, that's only on the Japanese version of this game. So it's it's unfortunate how difficult it is here. On the on the English version, it's actually a. Uh, a two-frame window as opposed to a less-than-one-frame window on uh, this version. Uh, and I'm not sure about uh, inverting time. Uh, uh, yeah, what time? Uh, yeah. It's 8.15. I think we'll have to invert. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we will, yeah. yeah. We'll invert eventually. Because, um, yeah, th this section, on this section, we need to get to the range, the Romani range, uh, before 3.30 a.m., right? Yeah. So we have yep. a, a lot of things to do before that. I know we don't want to miss it. We'll yeah, and again, bad. we in, in this round, we cram like as much as possible into such short in-game time segments, especially at the end of cycle two. I mean, everyone's probably going to be a little nervous at uh, the flashing, you know, moon crashing numbers on the screen. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, yeah. And we, uh, we got some time for donations. Absolutely. How about this? A $50 donation from Raza, who says Majora's Mask has to be one of my favorite speed games. Best of luck to Dope, Marco, Morpheus, and Pope Squidward. I mean, Matthew Broderick? H. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raza. And a $104 donation from Athen Real. They say rolled a D20 times a D8 and got 13 and 8. Let's keep rolling for that 4P1C blindfolded battle. We are currently at 87% of the way there. We need just over $5,000 to hit it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Time for another? Uh, yeah. Sure. How about this? A $100 donation from Irrational Soup. They say here is hoping for a vanilla elegy. Wait, this isn't a randomizer? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, we just collected the dungeon map in Woodfall. We're going to be doing some uh, stuff here in uh, Mountain Village over here, Goran Village. Um, yeah, we're not going to complete Woodfall right now. We just grabbed the boat right. and then left because uh, doing all of Woodfall right now would be pretty bad because we don't, we are not really well equipped. Right. We need to grab the 15 fairies in every dungeon. Right. And we don't even have uh, the Great Fairy Mask yet. Yeah. So, like, the Great Fairy Mask is really important to have in the dungeons for getting the fairies. Um, but, yeah, the bow is a extremely important item that we're going to be using in this game as well. So, essentially, what we're doing at the start of this run is, uh, even though we're not completing certain dungeons, we're getting uh, certain, you know, required items yeah. that are going to really help us as we progress here. Yeah, and, th and this mountain section, the bow especially, is going to be very useful for a very funny glitch that we'll see in a minute. And we love the Goron baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right here, um, you're going to see him equip a stick. And so uh, this trick that he's doing here is called action swap. Um, and so what this is, is if you have the bow in your hand um, in combination with um, a stick input and a text input, which in that case it was the sign, uh, what that does is it actually allows for the stick to shoot an arrow with fire on it, <laughs> which I have no idea why that works the way it does, um, very but uh, very complicated stuff. And you're going to be seeing stuff like that all over in, in, in this run. Um, uh, particularly after we do this powder keg stuff, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's important that we got the bow initially because if we didn't have any arrows to count with, 
the game would crash if we attempted that glitch. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. I yeah. wasn't aware. Yeah. Obviously. If you if you do that with with zero in your in your quiver, then it crashes. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Either zero in your quiver or you just don't have it. It crashes. Okay. Man, they give you a really long fuse on this powder keg, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice. Nice. And we're going to see it again here. Um, but this is a special version of this action swap glitch. There you go. Nice. Yeah. So you'll notice there's a layer of ice underneath that snowball. And so the f so what he did there is he actually did a double action swap shot. Um, and essentially, if you, if you do another stick input on top of the regular action swap, uh, you can actually shoot two at once on one action swap uh, shot. And he was able to, you know, hit the snowball and also melt the ice underneath. Um, and so we're going to learn the first part of the Goron Lullaby here and uh, more time for donations. We've got a ton of them. We have a $1,000 oh. donation. <laughs> this comes in from Juki. Greetings from Airplane Wi-Fi. I wasn't going to let being at 30,000 feet stop me from donating during one of my favorite speed runs. Best of luck to the runners, and I can't wait to see a circumflex on Majora when I land. <laughs> <laughs> We've got $50 from Lizzie. Round and round, the host randomizer goes. Who will read this? Nobody knows. My guess is mellow, but I'm not cheating. Well, you're wrong. I read it. You can donate again if you want to try one more time. <laughs> We have $25 from pig underscore. Hi, all. Good luck on the run. I can't believe it's been eight years since the last Hundo Relay in the infamous Twin Islands Goron clip. Here's to another <laughs> never-before-seen clip that maybe skips that pesky first cycle, eh? Yeah, that, that clip is so funny. Yeah, so Full Grown Gaming, so Gaming was doing the relay eight years ago, and... Uh, I mean, Kyle's just, you know, notorious for doing these things where you just don't know what's about to happen. And uh, he basically bonked off of the bridge uh, in the t in the area previous to this, and he, like, collided with the ice and flew directly through the map. And it was it was so crazy. Yeah, I've ne that's the only time I've seen that. I've never, yeah. never seen that. Has it ever been replicated since? No. No. Like, <laughs> I've never seen that. So coming up here... Um, we're going to be seeing the action swap glitch again, but this is actually a really uh, interesting version of it. Uh, so we're going to actually bypass uh, lighting all these torches on the edge here. Um, and instead, we're going to get action swap off this Goron with the text. Nice, dude. And so with a uh, precise timing on that backflip, you're actually shooting the arrow backwards at an angle to where you can light the torch and bypass having to light all those other torches here. And we are going to get this baby to stop crying. Now. Yep, yep. <laughs> Time to put it to sleep. Yep. Yeah. Probably a good time for donos. Mm -hmm. I could do that for you. $50 from Fiorius. Question for the runners. What is your favorite mask instrument? Ooh. Um, Go on drums, yeah. Has to be the guitar. For I'd say probably the, the guitar. Yeah, the guitar. Yeah. Zora yeah. guitar. Yeah. Uh, Fiorius goes on to say, I remember just strumming the Zora guitar for fun many times mm -hmm. while playing casually. Have a great run. We have $250 from Zezuka. First started watching GDQ before I had to fight cancer. I'm still here and happy to contribute to such a great cause. This is such an incredible community. Thanks for everything, everyone. $50 from an anonymous $50 donation. This is an anonymous $50 donation toward the blindfolded Majora fight. Cardi, Mello, roll the dice. Well, you roll the dice, and folks, we are 90% of the way. Wow. Less than $5,000. If we can get a push, we can reach that ASAP. You want to see it? I want to see it. 
get those donations in. We have $250 from Cubs Rule. Great to see Majora's Mask back at AGDQ. And four amazing runners as well. Good luck from all of us at Zelda Speedruns. So, um, pretty funny, interesting trick coming up here. I'm going to let him focus while he sets this up. Nice. Clean. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. So that that's um, interesting. So basically what happened there was uh, he threw a bomb next to the rock sirloin here. Um, and so uh, what happens is you can actually perform a super slide, um, not off the bomb, but off the rock sirloin. Uh, and that actually stores the sirloin um, sort of in the background to where if you release all the buttons after you're done sliding, uh, you just, you know, can pick it up, you know, on top of that ramp in that instance there. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, feed this hungry Goron over here, get our next mask. And I'm pretty sure um, the Zora... Uh, can pick up this only in the Japanese yeah. version. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yeah. this is a Japanese only, yes. Yeah. And so, by special request, um, I know that there are people that would like a uh, rock sirloin impression of the Goron eating the rock sirloin here. So, <laughs> we'll... Uh... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wow, he's really far to the left there. I've never seen yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. So coming up here, we have... Um, mm. You might be soaring to yeah, it's the really, rancher. Yeah. Oh, oh, back, yeah, yeah, I think you're soaring to the ranch. Yeah, yeah. back oh, out. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, wrong. wrong one. There's so many yeah, this yeah. locations. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, coming up here, we're going to be doing uh, a glitch called uh, item recovery. And so there's a way now where we can actually use the Wii menu, actually discovered by Marco, yeah. Um, yeah. where we can 100% of the time, I mean, obviously assuming that we don't miss the <laughs> Wii menu frame, but... Uh, get this trick to work. Uh, and this trick is actually notorious uh, for 100% runners as being like very annoying to be able to get because you have to do two frame-perfect inputs, one with the analog stick, one with the, uh, the quit button. And they have to land on the same frame um, at 30 frames per second, which is, and you get one chance at it. And if you fail it, it's about a minute time loss for uh, both of these letters. Yeah. Um, and so it's discovered that you can actually buffer uh, with the Wii menu on the pause menu of MM, which is kind of like, I, I don't even know how you discovered that, but I mean, that is pretty amazing discovery because uh, it does lose time as opposed to, you know, just going for that equip. Um, but yeah. it does guarantee that you're able to get the letter, which is super nice. Yeah, because we were going to use the letter for two things, to uh, give the toilet toilet paper to the hand in the inn, mm -hmm. and then post the letter uh, for the cafe quest. Right. You'll probably have to guide me on the frame a little. for the Yeah, we can help yeah, with that. Sure. Yeah, so by voting out there, you can uh, skip the cutscene of the Great Fairy, giving you the Great Fairy mask. So, they've got the, the Fairy nice. mask there. Yeah. Cool. So, we have the Great Fairy mask on our inventory now, not yeah. having to watch that cutscene, which is yeah. awesome. Those are long cutscenes. Okay, so right here, we're going to do the glitch here. Just yeah, item recovery. So, yeah. Okay, so it's one more frame. Yeah, so one more frame.
Nice. That's, that's it. That's it. And then you hold. Uh, so then you hold the direction in, in the yeah upright in the C button. button. So he's gonna get back <laughs> the letter that he just mailed. So he can get and it to the. Hopefully weekend. we see it pop up here. And yeah. We got it. Yeah, nice. I got it. Nice. nice. Cool. So that's really important because if you um, if you miss that, you actually have to back that up like soup like way later on. Um, actually, I would have to back that up later on. Um, but you lose a bunch of time there because you have to you know talk to Anju again, get the letter again, and you know give this poor individual some toilet paper. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> And yeah, for for the longest time, we we didn't know that we could buffer this like that with the home buffer menu. Right. Yeah. And so and it used know. to be a, a very big run killer, but with this, it makes it very safe. Mm -hmm. Even though it loses a little bit of time, it loses 13 seconds. Over yeah, per, yeah, per buffer. It's kind of funny how long you like sit there and watch the Nintendo logo. <laughs> it, but it, it fills me with anxiety. I'm just waiting for yeah, right. <laughs> the next frame. Yeah, I'll stay inverted for. Uh, I think a little longer. Yeah, you're good. Not terribly long. Yeah, for the telescope, you use. Definitely want to play it safer. Yeah. So we're going to activate these. I uh, actually didn't know about this puzzle growing up, but you can activate these uh, gossip stones with uh, the respective song uh, for each mass transformation. And once you get all four of them, you get the heart piece. Yeah, you have to do them in, them in the same cycle. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like hidden stuff in this game that I never knew growing up that I learned from the 100% speedrun. So. Yeah, same. So now we're going to do a uh, what's called a bomb recoil, and that's going to push us through the gates. And now we get the best soundtrack in the game. And then we're gonna, we're gonna stare at the grotto for a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and we do got time for some donations yeah. if you have any. So many are coming in. We have twenty dollars from Roads Go Ever On. Had to donate for the marvelous Majora's Mask run and incentive. I heard we were doing dice donations, so I asked the DM if I could spend all of my remaining hero points to give the party advantage on their next roll, and they said yes! I got a 19! Come on, everyone! Roll with advantage! We have a $300 donation from RMF. Always love seeing Majora run. I can't wait to not see this blindfolded finish. We are 93% of the way there. We are getting ever closer to unlocking that blindfolded 4P1C Majora fight. Keep giving those donations in. I know you can do it. Okay. Um, so just another use of bombs there. We can uh, use the bomb you know, explosion to just very slightly push Goron uh, over the top of the fence there. And you actually can use that uh, to get over into uh, the Great Bay Area as well. It's kind of funny um, how simple of a sort of design flaw that is. Mm. Go pick up a heart piece here, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, head on over to the aliens. Yeah, our in-game time is looking pretty safe right now. I'm yep. still inverted. Um, so time is progressing not as fast. Yeah, this isn't something we can really afford to miss for this. Like, yeah. It's really hard, to, really hard to back up later on. I'll make a few more, one more pit stop. Get some... There's okay. bomb drops. Lots man. of bombs. Wow. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some money. a lot of bomb drops, jeez. Yeah. I'm trying I've, to get I've gone through these up. so many times with no drops. <laughs> Does this work with Elegy as well? Do you know? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it does. No. I think it's just it's Sonata only... New Wave yeah, and sure. Lullaby, yeah. And when you, do, when you do these gossip stones, you have to keep the song that you play consistent. Gotcha. You can't have different ones, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can in invert now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now we got to go protect the ranch. From being overrun by aliens. Because in this game, the aliens want to steal the cows. Not the cow. <laughs> I 
Yeah, and again, like we're, we we passed some of these owls here, but we're not going to hit them because we still have that glitch um, activated right now with uh, being able to warp to different owls. Um, and in order to break that glitch, you, you have to hit an owl. And one of the 100% requirements is um, you have to hit all the owls. So the first one we're going to end up hitting is uh, at the top of Stone Tower um, to be able to start that process because it's the most inconvenient one. I won't even do barn shot, really. Oh, it's, it's, I, I forgot about the cutscene. That's, right. <laughs> no, that's okay, fine. Whatever. This is not a big deal. Yeah, that's not too bad. I was like, since I'm here early, I might as well yeah. just... It's good, go to, good, to, good to play this safe. Yeah. This is arguably the most important thing to get here. So these aliens can be taken out in just two waves. Um, so he's going to get this first wave here. Um, and... Um, yeah, <laughs> essentially just sort of wait it out and... It's basically an auto-scroller at this point. Yeah. yeah. And one of the most terrifying parts of this game, hands down, when I was a kid playing this game. Yeah. It just looks so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do this with Sime Inverted because I was so scared of it as a kid. Oh, man. Yeah, this is nice. GG. Yeah. They can't make it in time now. Uh oh. He's hitting me. Oh, taking some damage on this one here. Yep. Get a quick refill on our utility. And yeah, we just have to wait it out. So basically. What I did is I killed the first wave like normal, and then once it actually went past 4 a.m., if you kill the second wave, uh, the wave that's coming right now won't be able to reach. <laughs> so like, just I, to be I safe, there. Oh, I hit them. both. Yeah. <laughs> I got, saw that. That's funny. You got both of them. I love there. how every time you hit an alien, the game will like freeze. Yeah, yeah. there's a little bit of lag. And then just a uh, quick day reset here, and they can explain what that is in a minute. Yeah, I'll let you do it first. So we have our milk, which is actually useful. Oh. Nice. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, uh, essentially what this was, was um, we... Uh, this is kind of a tough one to explain, honestly, but you yeah. you essentially play Song of Double Time, and uh, as you are um, in the process of dying there, you can hit A on the Song of Double Time text. Um, and what that does is when you are pressing A and going into that state, uh, what happens is it, it actually can re do what's called a day reset. Mm -hmm. um, and so at that, that can happen on night of the second day as well. I'm yeah. Not sure. Yeah, so... Night of the second day, uh, night of the first day, you can just completely reset it to, um, you know, make... So now it's uh, 6 a.m. on day one, and yeah, we can uh, and, do... And you didn't lose all the side quests you've started. Right, also. exactly. It's yeah. not like playing Song of Time, e you know. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we're not losing, you know, si any side quest progress, and we're able and to... Uh, yeah, yeah, and we can do, like, the opponent's song stuff now. Hope I get a good time on the minigame. I've I've seen the the tool assisted speedrun of this so and like a it is year. it's an eight eight seconds eight seconds yes eight okay. seconds <laughs> yes it's like <laughs> yeah, for humans sub twenty is good very good a sub twenty five nice. yeah I'm content with like a twenty two so how are we feeling about this run so far everybody feeling pretty feeling pretty good we got a long way to go but we're uh, nice getting comfy here. You want an incentive update? Sounds great. We're at 98% of the way there. Less than $1,000 wow. to go. Sounds like we're Woo, probably yeah. doing it. Yeah, <laughs> probably doing it, yeah. Probably. Yep. Yeah, I got a 20 there, which is pretty good. That, that is good. Very nice. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. And coming up here is... Uh, 
the everyone's best, the best part actually. Yep, yeah, actually the best favorite part. Favorite part of this entire game, which is the beaver race. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like seven minutes of the mini game. Yep. For some reason, they decided, hey, let's not, you know, do the race once or even twice. Uh, let's do it four times in because order to get so all fun. the items. Yeah, because yeah, it's so it. fun to, you know, just swim through these on. rings with, you know, yeah. basically no time limit here. Yeah, I just need to reset my cursor so, accidentally. Better be safe here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea for sure. I'm pretty sure having it on Z or R. Yeah, just uh, crashes crash, the game. Crash, if you yeah. Game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good catch there. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're good. So by default, if you don't set the map pointer anywhere, it just uh, defaults to uh, Great Bay. Right. All right, while we're climbing up here to Beavers, we can go ahead and do some more donations? Sure. Well, we have a donor named Miri, who you may know, and they donate $1,000. Wow. wow. Thank Round you, Round of Mary. applause for that. Thank you very much. They say, I've been a part of Pope's community for over three years now. Over that time, we've seen Pope set multiple world records in multiple categories and enjoyed thousands of hours of content. We're also proud of everything you've accomplished and the community you've built. I've lost family members to cancer over the last few years, and your community and streams were one of the things that helped me keep my positivity and push through. My heart goes out to anybody who has lost family members to cancer or any other disease. It's hard, but you will heal and you will persevere. Let's get rid of cancer for good. Wow, thank you, Mary. <laughs> All right, so we have made our way up to uh, the beaver race. And like I said, um, for some reason, they decided that uh, not once, not twice, uh, not even three times, but four times we need to do this race in order to get the items required for 100% completion. Um, and the reason why that's kind of annoying is because this minigame is almost impossible to lose. It is so... I mean, I, I, I don't even know how you it's lose this. It's pretty much an auto-scroller. Yeah, it's you, like you an auto-scroller. You can optimize it, but like... I, th I think what this was is they were just kind of looking at uh, the Zora swimming mechanics and they're like, I, I mean, it's it's cool. Like, the Zora swimming is cool in this game, but, I mean, <laughs> definitely pretty repetitive here. Oh, nice. Uh-oh, he's getting ahead. You're going to lose. <laughs> and we do have, you know, the this is a great time six or seven and, minutes yeah. of downtime. We got plenty of time now. Okie dokie. Fifty dollars from Kaylee and her cats. Yenzers from the 412 love their GDQ. Thanks for speedrunning my favorite Zelda game. This is inspiring me to attempt my own blindfolded Majora fight, but me surviving seems highly unlikely. Uh, but you know what? That pun may have been terrible. However, we have reached 100%. We are have unlocked yeah. the blindfolded 4P1C Majora fight. Let's go! Oh, that feels good. That felt great. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was actually pretty fast. Yeah, that yeah. was incredible. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. We have $50 from Pendragon. I grew up watching my uncle play Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on the N64 from behind the couch because they were so scary. Well, now I'm sitting on the couch and loving this MM run at GDQ. Best of luck to all the runners. $25 from Kita. Hey there, GDQ. I'm here for the Pope Squidward, but staying for the awesome gameplay from these amazing gamers. Much love and good luck, gamers. I'm loving the support from y'all's communities. We've got $50 from J, J Jawox. I'm watching from Colorado Springs with the family. Who knew the N64 I purchased in the 90s would lead to this? Go, go, dopes. And we have $100 anonymous donation. Hey, dope, Pope, Morpheus, and Marco. Can't believe it's been eight years since the last 4P1C Majora's Mask 100% run. Feels like just yesterday that I was right where you are now. I know you guys are going to crush this run, and I can't wait to see what all has changed in 2016. Best of luck, and don't crash in Twin Islands. I think we were past that. Yeah. 
a $60 donation from Raza. $5 for every postman attempt. Let's hope that Dombe <laughs> is kinder. Well, that's, you know. Yeah. What was that, 12, 12 attempts? Yeah. That's actually, like, not, not too bad. Compared to the last run that happened in 2019, <laughs> yeah. that's miles better, yeah. Yeah. Well, we we know more about it now. Yeah, it's yeah. Pretty cool, though. So. Odd Anoya Burr sends one hundred dollars. What happens if we can't get all four players to fight Majora together? Well, could Majora win and drop the moon on us all? I don't want to find out. So I donated to make sure we hit that incentive and make sure that GDQ does gather all the runners together to combine their powers and defeat that mask and defeat cancer at the same time. We did it. Thanks to your generous donation. So there's our first item from the two races. Halfway through. Halfway through Let's the go. beaver race. <laughs> we love the beavers. It's just it's just funny because like the difficulty doesn't even increase. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, at all. you have ten less seconds. Yeah, the timer goes down, but and you get know. more rings on. I am gonna be yeah. completely honest. I didn't even notice the timer <laughs> on the top left. No, I mean, I didn't. I didn't either. even notice it because you're yeah. so far ahead every time. You have two minutes on the first one and one fifteen now. You, you have to like <laughs> really miss the rings a lot. The only difference is during the different days the race layout yeah. changes. Yeah, on day two it's that's like, true. Yeah. Yeah, uh, day two is actually the faster track yeah. to be on. Day one is the second fastest, and day three is the slowest. Yeah. But even if day two is the fastest uh, race, it's not worth just to change it's, yeah, the whole Yeah, it's route. not worth it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much in the run for a long time. It's it's kind of been in, like, day one or night one for the most part. With yeah, I've done a route in, exceptions. in 2013 that did it in day two, but a very old time. Yeah, 2013, you've been yeah, around yeah. a while. <laughs> I, I learned this route in, yeah, July 2013, the wow. first time. That was very different back then. That was in English, too. Yeah. The record was like 5.18. Oh, man. It's 4.30. Wow, we've progressed a lot yeah. in this game. Almost like in a whole Almost hour. Almost an hour, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got one more race, everybody. One more beaver race. The hardest, technically. <laughs> <laughs> technically, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely more time for donations. Yeah, I mean it. Wonderful. Thank you to Full Grown Gaming. They donate oh. fifty dollars. Oh yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah, he he was uh, on the relay book eight years ago. Nice. Yeah. Well, listen to this. Hey, dope. Pope, Morpheus, and Marco. Can't believe it's been eight years since the last 4P1C Majora's Mask 100% run. Feels like just yesterday that I was right where you are now. I know you guys are gonna crush this run, and I can't see, I can't wait to see what all has changed since 2016. Best of luck, and don't crash into an island. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Kyle. Another $25 donation from Bell Sprout, who says, what a beautiful relay team. Good luck, y'all. So happy to see Majora's Mask and our amazing community represented at GDQ. Special shout out to the rest of the Squid Squad. And another $20 donation. This one's from Ray of Light. Thank you so much. I heard something about D20 donations. I think I misunderstood the assignment and rolled a 20, but they all came up as ones. Good luck, everyone, on the run. All right. All right. All right. We are done with the beaver race. Already. It's over already? Yeah. It's over already? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and grab a heart piece down below here um, and then make our way over to the uh, Ocean. Oceanside Spider House. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. As we said earlier, we won't have to get the uh, the sculpture list there because the the reward from the skulls is the wallet, which we already have. For yeah. Now, yeah. Because of the wallet you put it earlier. Right. So, so, the, so the next time we'll deposit 200 rupees in the bank, we'll get the 500 rupee wallet. Right. Which which is what the Oceanside Spider has would would give give us now. Mm -hmm. So we don't need it. 
Yeah, so we currently have the banker in Clocktown who would also give a rupee wallet reward in a glitched state to where the flag that says that you received the wallet from him uh, has not been triggered yet. Yeah. So um, so now we're just able to bypass all the Skultas here and get the 500 one later on. Yeah, and we still need to get to go here to get the heart piece. So the heart piece here is be is behind the uh, uh, colored masks, mm -hmm. which you're supposed to shoot in a certain order. And back then, like in 2013, again, we used to uh, create a file uh, in advance and check what the code is and then copy the file. Yeah. But that's not allowed anymore. So and we found this trick to skip uh, using the the bow on the mask, which would, would be RNG. Nice, nice. Yes. Oh, <laughs> there we are. Very good. Nice. So yeah, like Marco said, we're able to bypass that mask code now, um, and we essentially, you know, just do some bomb hovers to get up onto that mask, and then do a bomb recoil, which is just preserving that bomb, um, you know, explosion radius uh, onto your shield to be able to propel yourself backward like that. And now it's time to beat our first dungeon. Yeah, yeah, we're finally at our first dungeon, an yeah. hour and a half in here. So that's going to be the last. Uh, section. And it's going to be a dungeon rush from here on out, kind of. Yeah. Yep. And then after the dungeon, Dub's going to hand the controller to Morpheus. Yeah. Yep, my yep. segment's almost over. Yep. yep. Let's give a round of applause for Dope so far for, <laughs> you know. Yep. Thank you. They're doing great. I was pretty nervous in the beginning at that deck of playgrounds, <laughs> but after I got past Lens, it's, I've been pretty chill, yeah. Yeah. Rip. Oh no, he died. People said. So this Goron movement here is, uh, oh nice bomb drop. <laughs> um, is just a little bit tricky going up the ramp because um, you know, for one thing, you have to, you know, be pretty precise with your angles here. But just like that, you get real close to the edge with uh, the ground not being super level. And so, yeah, I mean, first try. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like worst case scenario, you avoid out and have to do the whole room again. Yeah. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> So Snowhead is, um, I'd say it's pretty straightforward for the most part. This is actually the easiest dungeon that we're gonna be doing. Um, and we're gonna finally make use of this uh, great fairy mask here. Yeah, so in every dungeon, we're gonna get the 15 stray fairies, uh, maps and compass, and uh, the boss heart. Right. And uh, again, we're gonna actually bypass the uh, boss key chest and like the, the wizard battle. Um, the second one, rather. Yeah. That, and that's because uh, the Bosky does not uh, travel back with us with the Song of Time, um, and that's just part of the 100% uh, requirements for this game. And that fairy was really trying to. Good shots are hard. Nice. nice. Cool. So. Right there, uh, so that glitch is called a Weird Shots. And so uh, what that is, is you can do that with both the bow and the hook shot. It's actually, I'd say, more useful with the hook shot. Um, but you can use um, the bomb explosion to be able to essentially just displace your camera um, to where you can shoot things that you normally wouldn't be able to shoot that might be covered by a wall or like the ground or, or something. In that case, it was a chest that was up above. Um, and he was able to push his camera out of bounds to be able to get that chest. Booty? <laughs> nice. 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 The booty clap for 9,000. <laughs> So now I got our fire arrows, which we can use pretty much right away. Yeah. 
And a lot of this uh, snowhead is, uh, you know, just Goron movement and uh, we're collecting stray fairies. Also, we'll see that having hookshot in this dungeon is going to be quite useful to travel. Mm -hmm. We can hookshot torches that are high up mm -hmm. and skip uh, ri the rising pillar. And, you know, like normally in a casual playthrough, you wouldn't have the hookshot at this point. Yeah, yeah, that, but, yeah. yeah. Very useful. So that's a little uh, tech there where we can just hookshot the torch while the chest is spawning. Yep. So go a closer. Oh! <laughs> Almost Jump fell. Jump is always sketchy. Yeah. I, I wonder when we're going to find uh, a way to push this block faster. <laughs> Man, Seriously. yeah, this, I, I, this is the slowest room in the whole temple. I, I know Rando has it, it where you can push yeah, it faster. Yeah, just play Rando. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it just takes so long to push yeah. this block. Probably good for one donation. Yeah. I've got you. We have $525 from Kuroshi and friends. Oh, <laughs> Dope, Morpheus, Marco, and Pope, we are so proud of you and so happy to have you showing off this awesome run. You're truly doing a great thing. From the absolute bottom of our hearts, shout outs to the Majora's Mass community. Everyone is amazing, and we can't imagine a better place to call home. That's Game our on. back couch. Yep. Yep. No. Thank you, guys. Love you all. Much love, guys. <laughs> Yeah, like Pope said, this uh, temple is just pretty straightforward. Just melt some ice, get a chest here. The movement's pretty cool, though, if you can do it well. And then here I can pull a bomb. Go ahead and get the fairy and break the wall. And there's a cool little tech where I can throw the bomb here and it kind of curves around the ice so we can blow up the snowball. And then across from this room, there's just a fake wall with Lens of Truth, but if you know where it is, you can just go. You know what I also find interesting is uh, of all the stuff that we know in this game, um, the small keys are still required to like load the next room. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I just... Uh, there might be something like SRM related that you could bypass that maybe, but I, I just find it funny that of all the stuff we know, that seems like a very really basic thing. Yeah. All right, Morpheus, you're pretty chilling on bombs. I am. Yes, you are. Yeah. You have Double plenty bombs. of bombs. Your, your bomb drops have been crazy. Yeah, I've gotten really good drops. You got like eight on the way to aliens. <laughs> <laughs> so that right there is just a long jump. If I just place a bomb behind me and slash to the edge, then... And right, yeah. right here is an instance of the uh, hook shot being very useful. Yeah. In this yeah. This uh, I I honestly don't even remember how to do this like puzzle, like the <laughs> casual puzzle with punching the discs or whatever. Yeah. Oh, the mask back on. And what's funny there is actually the fairy changes height depending on what form you're in. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's happened to Morpheus too, where like that happens, and then the the fairy went out of bounds. There's some some shenanigans have happened in that room. I can't even remember how it happened, but it was pretty tragic. Yeah. Uh, go here. Oh, I fell. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool little alcove cave here you can just fall right into instead of using Deku. And then this switch is the only reason we need Goron for this temple. You can only press that switch with Goron. And we, we actually have a category on the leaderboards called All Fairy Rewards, um, where it's just that. You just get all the fairies and get the fairy rewards and then beat the game. And that switch is the only reason why we get Goron. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be able to skip Goron. Like, wow. there's, there's no way to press that switch unless you have Goron. <laughs> We got a bit of a spooky jump here. Yeah. 
And oh, oh so close. close. Yeah. It looked like it was going to work, but I went a little early. That's a tough trick. Yeah, yeah. it was tough. Well, we can go ahead and void out at the bottom here with Deku and try again. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a perk of the Zora and Deku here. You can just void yeah. out and then just reappear up at the top here. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. And then coming up is the bus door, which uh, doesn't block too much. All right, if I if I get this quick, you'll just see how fast this is. Yeah, the, this is this BK this skip is, is amazing. It's incredible. And All we're right, done. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, we can just use the Goron's uh, collision to, um, you know, in relation to the icicle there, and it just pushes us right through the door. So no Bosky needed, and we are not even not even a bomb recoil needed there anymore. Yep. And what's funny is uh, on Randomizer, uh, if you you can walk around as Fierce Deity in the overworld, but with Fierce Deity, if you just walk straight at that door, it'll, you'll just go right in the door because of the collision. <laughs> it's so funny. That was nice. close. That nice. was really close. So, uh, that, so that fight's actually pretty scripted to where um, you... So Goat takes 15 hits to, to die there. Um, and you have to do a certain pattern, um, like number of hits, uh, to be able to essentially keep Goat in that same spot without um, charging over to you. We're actually going to do a controller swap now, right? Yeah, well, once I'm done with the Giants cuts in here, I'll unplug. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. where well, there's no text. Um, yeah. But essentially, um, right what happened there at the end was the uh, stalactite fell down, and it can happen to where the stalactite falls right in your uh, field of vision to not be able to hit the boss anymore, which is really annoying, and it causes a lot yeah. of uh, chaos in the boss yeah. fight. So the boss starts running around the area. Yeah, right. So it's, that, that, that was pretty lucky there that it was right next to the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Nice job, Dope. Yep. Yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. We're on to leg number two here. Yep. Once this cutscene's over and it goes back to showing the Mountain Village area being cleared up on plug, my controller. Have time for donations in the yeah. meantime? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Perfect. $50 from Sarah's Aether. You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Got to donate to one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm excited to see the blindfolded Majora fight later on. Hype! Uh, thank you so much for all of your donations earlier unlocking that blindfolded 4P1C Majora fight. We have opened some more incentives for some later games coming up on the schedule. A couple of games after Zelda Majora's Mask, uh, we've got Mega Serval coming up, and you can unlock Maid Mode in Mega Serval. Uh, look it up. You'll like it, probably. It's only $3,000 to unlock Maid Mode in Mega Serval. Get those donations in. We also have $50 from MK Ephius. The rock sirloin has never sounded so good. Thank you, Pope, for fostering such a loving and fun community. Over these last eight years, you have kept me and countless others entertained through thick and thin, and we are all proud to see how far you have come and look forward to seeing how far you'll continue to go. Good luck to all four runners. All right. And with that, we are doing a controller swap. I'm done. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, so I bring it around oh. here. And then... So Morpheus is going to take us through um, two dungeons, actually. So one of them we already went into, uh, Woodfall, where we got the bow. Um, yeah, I mean, but, uh, I mean, he's going to do probably... My most favorite Zelda dungeon of all time, Stone Tower. Um, so the, the dungeon order is, uh, if you already noticed, it's out of order here. And the reason for that is just because um, there's certain side quests that line up with certain like points of the run that are better for certain dungeons, as well as like certain items being favorable in certain dungeons. Um, 
And so Stone Tower is going to be our second uh, second dungeon here after, I, I guess you're doing Goron Race first here. Yeah. But, uh, Goron Race is another uh, interesting uh, mini game here. It's a little frustrating to uh, lose the Goron Race, but... Uh, and we have our probably my favorite character in the game right here. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like him. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and drop off our Razor Sword, and typically um, we would uh, do a like advanced time here to be able to uh, just grab the Razor Sword again, but it was found that uh, we can actually just use sticks instead and just not have a sword on our B button for a while. Yeah, we're actually not going to have a sword on the B button for a long time. For, yeah. the, for the next, like, two hours. A good yeah, portion yeah. of this run, we will not have a sword. Yeah. So. We will not get our sword back until when... Until Hope I pick it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marco will never get a sword. Yeah. Yeah, Except yeah. for the Great Fairy Sword. I'll get a sword for like yeah. five seconds. On the <laughs> All right, here we go. I definitely spam the chat right now. We got some, some nice lag to start off here. Yep. <laughs> so th this Goron race is tricky because uh, you, you can't see them coming from behind you. So yeah, yeah. you have to... Uh, and it, it's seemingly just completely random. I, I, I have done this so many times and like this right here like I just I cannot figure out like the yeah. patterns of this yeah I never got it 100% consistent either yeah. and some of them just do like some of them are so smart but some of them just do the dumbest stuff <laughs> yeah they'll just like roll right off the edge and one thing he's got to look out for here is as he's going uphill um, to not really bump into them yeah right yeah. there that was unlucky yeah so yeah, right, right here at the bridge, it's a little bit scary because they're going all over the place. Oh, yeah, so oh just, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> we got rid of one. Lost one of them. Oh, another one. There goes the second <laughs> one, I think. And, and you still got time here. You this can, is yeah, pretty good this so should far. Be fine. You can catch this bozo. Yeah, we just got to hope that these two up here just don't gain a lot of speed all of a sudden and just, yeah, a little you know, bit of a push him. A little bit of a bump yeah. there. Yep. And we are good yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we got hit at the end. <laughs> Nice. nice. Yeah, that, that's frustrating to, to lose that one because, uh, I mean, you have to do the whole thing over again. So. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and set our map point here and make our way over to Stone Tower. Yeah. And we're going to hit our first owl, actually. So the yes. index warp trick is going to be uh, not doable anymore. Right. So we're not yeah. going to be able to warp around to owls anymore after this. Yeah. We're going to have to hit them first. Yeah. Um, So yeah, we, we always want to try and route in that the Stone Tower Owl ends up being the one that's hit first because climbing Stone Tower later on just not only uses a lot of explosives, it's just time consuming. So we want to make sure that this is the first one we hit. And so right here, um, this is the same trick um, that Dope did in Pirate's Fortress to skip that pirate cutscene with the beehive. Um, nice. Um, and so uh, this is time stop again, and you can just basically stop the block from moving back after you get off the switch, and then you just uh, press a C up, and then you'll travel with the block. So yeah. now we don't have to use Elegy to get across there. And now we're in my favorite dungeon. Stone Tower at night, no music? Yeah. Unfortunately. That is a bit very, disappointing. Very, very desolate area. Yeah, that's also a Japanese-only glitch. Yeah. Where yeah. Like in the nighttime, there is no music. Mm-hmm. So right here, we're going to do a uh, sunblock clip, uh, get in a specific position with the bomb to be able to push us through the wall there, be able to bypass the light arrows. And what's actually interesting, a uh, little bit off topic, is um, if you use spring water, um, just dropping the spring water on that block actually is able to uh, melt the block. Um, yeah. And I I mean, I don't even know why that would happen. You but, can also uh, uh, invert Stone Tower with water. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, and right there when uh, Morpheus opened the chest and spawned that uh, other chest with the crystal switch, uh, he got something called a cutscene overlap where both cutscenes kind of just played at the same time. And he was able to clear that small key text during that cutscene. Nice. And then just a quick recoil down here and then throw in a few bombs to destroy all these armos. 
Oh, the stone tower movement is so cool. Yeah, it's very neat. Go ahead and collect the dungeon map here. Nice. That's not going to work. Ah, uh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That was, that, that was really good, dude. Yeah. This room is a bit tricky. Um, you're actually able to hit this um, hookshot thing in time, um, like as the last Armos is um, like blowing up there, and you can um, like hookshot during that cutscene yeah. of the chest spawning. Yeah, so here it's technically faster to equip Zora in the lava to void out and go back to the room up top, but Pope uh, has crashed many times doing that. For some reason, when you void there, the game can crash, so yeah. just to be safe. My, my Wii is so <laughs> cursed when it comes to crashing in this dungeon, and I don't know why. Yeah. Speed must when you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So one downside of the Japanese version of this game is that the Stray Fairies actually only give you one heart back as opposed to three on the English yeah. version. Mm -hmm. So I remember um, at one point we were playing the English version for this category, and the hearts, like my hearts were always fine because... You get three back every time. There's actually a lot of uh, version differences between yeah. the Japanese and English versions of this There's game. So many, and it's it's kind of funny because in OOT it's not like that. Yeah, like, that's like basically the same. OOT game. is just the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this room up here is a little bit hard, so we'll give him. Yeah, we'll. Focus. Yeah, that's yeah, he's uh, focus here. Shotgun type. Nice, and a bomb drop, cool. The drops are just nuts. Yeah, we're yeah. getting a lot of bomb drops this run. All right, nice. Very nice. So both of those weird shots there to skip um, using the light arrows on those sun blocks and even more bombs that we kind of don't need. <laughs> How is there a drop everywhere? Yeah, Man. I've never seen this. <laughs> it's, we're just being blessed. Yeah. And then here, just a quick long jump into the the updraft here to cross over to this other side, and then and one the, more weird shot. Yeah, the last one. Nice. 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 Wow. wow. First try. First try. Good good job. Job. Yeah. That's very impressive. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, you can take advantage of the iframes there. Yeah, you have one frame to open that chest yeah. after you hookshot it. Yeah, you can overlap the start and A presses there, so you can either get the buffer frame or unbuffered. Yeah. In it. So you have effectively two frames for it, which helps a lot. And here's Gar Master. It's a pretty easy fight. Um, we're actually going to be using Hookshot and Fire Arrows to deal with this guy, so just stun him and then shoot him and rinse and repeat pretty much. Nice. Nice. Pretty easy. <laughs> Now we have our light arrows. So there's about half more of the uh, regular stone tower left, and then we will invert and then do the inverted side. And there's a pretty cool trick for the uh, Bosky skip that we'll save. But before that, just pulling a bomb and hitting the crystal switch. This is pretty ominous without the music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's so quiet. And this is like the sound tower music is so good too. Yeah. yeah, we we'll be able to probably hear it in inverted sound tower. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we probably the will. The glitch is not there on the inverted. Oh, so he's gonna attempt yeah. a, a cool little super slide here. And he got nice. it. Nice. There we go. So cool. So he was actually able to roll into Igor there uh, right as he was dying when the bomb exploded, and that pushed him all the way back to be able to get this Chester. This is a really good dungeon so far. Yeah. Yeah.
So yeah, now it's just pretty much just using the light arrows where we couldn't before. Yep. Oh, wow. And these dragonflies can be yeah. super annoying here. For some reason, the, they, they just aggro from so far away. Yeah, they're, they're out for some blood. Look, he's still coming. <laughs> <laughs> Worst enemy in the game. Yeah. Nice. Yep. So we get ISG off of this chest here, and then he's going to set up for a uh, bomb hover over the water to hit a underwater uh, sun switch that'll spawn a fairy chest underwater as well. So usually you would have to flip the temple twice, or you can, or you can make an ice platform, I believe, too. Yeah. And then we fall straight to the bottom. The enemies down here can be pretty annoying, but thankfully they're not being too bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I, th I think these these bonefish are called desbrecos, not bonefish. <laughs> Interesting enough. All right, and this is the last. Wow, I, I can't believe you guessed power. the exact sun there. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I just got the knowledge. So after this, we'll just be making our way back to the front of the temple and then going ahead to flip it. And inverted zone tower is probably the coolest part about this whole yeah. temple. So uh, what he's going to do right here is called a bow extension uh, to where you essentially can uh, just push Link forward just enough like as you're going into the, uh, the bow aiming animation um, and it pushes the bow inside of the wall there and you're able to hit the um, light or the ruby switch from the backside and that's uh, able to trigger it and flip the dungeon here. And now we finally get some stone tower music. So he's going to attempt a uh, pretty um, difficult little jump here um, using a bomb and uh, like line it up with a stick as well. And this just allows for him to be able to go in the dungeon in a, a different order here. Oh, <laughs> wow. I think we have an extra stick. I did not yeah. think that would break there. Right. Yeah. We'll do the other setup. I've never seen the stick break there like yeah, the I, I've so, never seen it. Okay, so, yeah. Do you know how to do this here? Yeah, yeah we got to see up and look here. Right there, yep. And then drop bomb, dry roll, and then turn. Nice. Fine. Hold up. Good. Nice. Right. Awesome. Nice. nice. <laughs> I would have gone for the stick again, but it broke, and I was... It's, there. There's just no point risking it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me shoot turn away. Yeah. And then here we can get ISG real quick and then hook shot up to this upper chest. And then when he... He's going to be matching paws here. And then he's going to equip choose and then stop himself in place and then do a few hovers. Turn around. Slash on top. Open Very the nice. chest. Nice. Nice. So yeah, we can get that upside down chest that you normally would have to reinvert the temple for. I see the fairy is upside yeah. down. Yeah, yeah it's pretty funny. <laughs> and this room's really neat. This nice lag. Yeah, the lag is nuts. So yeah, two quick. Uh, nice. Yeah, one clip and then a recoil to get over to this one, and then one more recoil to get to the last, last fairy on top. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we have another one of those flaming chests, so it'll be somewhere to the fairy chest before Gara Master. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Really good dungeon. Yeah, that's really good. A lot can go wrong in this dungeon. He's, he's been doing great. There you go. Nice. Cool. And then in this chest here, we just have the giant's mask, but I don't think Morpheus wants to use it today. <laughs> Maybe another day. Another category. <laughs> and we can just get a couple quick donations in yeah. right now as well. Love to hear it. We have $25 from Sienna. Couldn't let this chunk of the run pass without wishing luck to my number one watch streamer and great friend, Morpheus. I'm so proud of you, and I know you are going to do amazing. Also have to give a shout out to the other three runners, Dope, Pope, and Marco. We are honestly lucky to get such a skilled crew to show us this run. Congrats to you all for this achievement. So beyond excited to see what the rest of this run has in store. Hey, can we give them a round of applause real quick? Heck yeah. Our runners are doing amazing. We're only halfway through. So uh, coming up here is actually arguably the coolest trick yeah. in this entire run. Um, so you're gonna want to pay attention to what happens here. I can sort of explain what's going on after it's done, but I'm not gonna say anything until it happens. Nice. So that was just a quick kill to stop Wiz Rogue from jumping around the room. And then keep your eyes peeled. What the heck? Yep. Where's he going? <laughs> there goes the arrow off the map. <laughs> Where are we even? Where are we going? We are going to Twin Mold Room. Yeah. All right. So, I have no idea what the logistics of that is, but that trick is called um, remote hookshot. Um, and so, Basically, it was found out somewhat recently that you can combine hookshot and milk in order to have weird effects like that happen. Um, and that's actually used in a lot of different categories in this game now for various different things to where you can skip into, you know, boss rooms and um, in the any percent run, you can jump to the top of Snowhead and there's a lot of different really cool applications. But uh, yeah, that's, that's an amazing trick. Oh, that was an unlucky target there. Yeah. I missed both of those fire arrow shots, so, so we're going to hang around for a drop. This, this boss is a little tricky. We're going to try to get it done without running out of all the arrows here. I think I only need one more. Yeah. Nice. nice. Okay, we got one. That's blue down. And then now it's just 10 regular arrows for red here. I might have to farm for a drop, maybe, but hopefully not. Oh, you're going to hit them all. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, I missed two fire arrows, so that was a bit more. Four demand sniper. I have like 16 arrows. 15? 15? Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> yeah, just take your time. Hopefully he doesn't spawn super far. Yeah, oh, this, man, the hit hitbox is hit crazy. Is so bad. Yeah. Nice. nice hit. You have two extra. These are not the nicest patterns here either. The, the, the patterns of which they come out of the ground here are also random, so it's tough to, to land them all. Nice. One more hit. Oh, oh wait uh, for it. Yeah. I'd rather have these three. Yeah, yeah. So far away. Wow. Yeah. Nice. nice. There we go. Nicely done. That is a tricky, tricky boss. That's probably the hardest boss That's in this the, run. Yeah, I think it's definitely by, yeah, yeah. by far the hardest. Yeah. It's easy to lose a lot of time to bad luck and miss shots. Mm -hmm. the, the tail hitbox is so strange. It is. It like wobbles around. 
it's hard to know where it's going. So the way Twin Mold works is uh, you have the blue Twin Mold and the red Twin Mold. Actually, I'm going to... I forgot about this trick. <laughs> that was yeah, really This is one of, the most, <laughs> one of the most recent tricks. Yeah, this is a, yeah. This is a new one here. Yeah, you have to be careful there because Very if nice. you... Yeah, yeah. Nice. If you match the text in the wrong way, you can crash here. So, actually, I'll explain this first, I guess. Uh, so this trick is something new, um, and it's called uh, Remains Escape. So the boss remains, and then we just escape the, the cutscene of the blue warp. Um, and basically, what that is, is where if, if you have the hook shot in your hand, uh, you can walk into the blue warp, um, and then right before you grab the boss remains, you can play um, Song of Inverted Time. And what that does is you pick up the boss mask after you press yes, but you're actually able to match through the text in a certain way to be able to leave the boss remains and not have to watch the cutscene, mm -hmm. which he did flawlessly there, so. Nice. Nice. <laughs> First try. That's the best fall in the game. I love that fall. <laughs> And then coming up here is just another Fairy Fountain cutscene skip. So interesting to note about these Fairy Fountain cutscene skips here is, uh, so there's five of them in total. There's the one to get the Great Fairy Mask, then the uh, the Great Spin, the Double Magic, the Double Defense, and this one, the Great Fairy Sword. Nice, there we go. Um, and essentially, um, there, there's two of them that we actually don't do this cutscene skip for, and the reason for that is because for double magic and for double defense, uh, you don't actually get that upgrade. Wow. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, you got a weird angle when you click. Yeah, uh, basically, the, uh, the the way that you get those upgrades is actually partially like halfway through the cutscene, rather than uh, right away when you touch the cutscene triggers. So for um, the, the Snowhead one and the Great Bay one, there it goes. Nice. nice. Um, we actually just have to watch those cutscenes, sadly, but uh, the other three were able to do those cutscenes, and yeah, the collision on this uh, Gibdo Huts is uh, what's the name of this again? Music Box House? Yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, fun, funny clip. There's like a million different ways to enter this without the door. <laughs> You have time for some donations during this cutscene? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Cool. We have $30 from Rubix. My favorite part was when Morpheus said, it's morpin' time, and morped all over the Goron race. <laughs> $80 from Brutal Mellow? Well, I kicked this off, so here's my donation. I rolled a D20 and got a 16. 16 times 5 is $80. I hope Mellow reads this. Uh, well, maybe next time. Put this towards the Activate Maiden Mode incentive because... I want to. Okay. Thank you so much for your generous donation, Brutal Mellow. $50 from Nito. Good luck, Pope, Dope, Marco, and Morpheus. Awesome seeing you showcase the objectively best Zelda title. Oh, that's inflammatory. That's some fighting words right yeah. there. <laughs> also, please circumflex on Majora. Thank you. Yeah, so coming up here, we have the uh, Poe Hunt minigame. So there's some pretty cool strats that are involved. We're actually going to be using light arrows to get some money because if you kill them with a light arrow, they spawn 50 rupees. Nice. Nice. Good hit. Uh, you also have to be very careful in this minigame because if you get to three hearts, you get kicked out. Yeah. Right. So so they take uh, half a heart for each hit, so he's got two hits left before he gets kicked out here. Yeah. Yeah, but we're already past like the hard part of right. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. That yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The left tricked me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tough to see sometimes. Yeah. Especially when the camera's on top of them. All right. I wonder which one. That was perfect. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, funny little trick here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you can skip the uh, tangle scene <laughs> falling down. Yeah, and you, you can, can actually hear him. Uh, yeah. You can hear him falling in the background. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, Tingle. What a... What a jolly Hilarious man. character. <laughs> tingle, Tingle, cool and pa. <laughs> yeah, this, this is our first set of Tingle maps right here. Was this Tingle's first game? Uh, yes. I think so. I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, and another quick owl statue here, and then we're gonna pick up one more heart piece and then make our way to the swamp. Yeah, this section of the run, we're gonna uh, activate a lot of the owls on the way. Yeah. It's mostly just following a certain path and hitting the owls along the way yeah. while doing other stuff. It's very unique routing. And then quick hover here to this heart piece. Nice. Nice. Let's grab that heart piece and then we can do a quick recoil to a super swim into the little uh, connection area to the swamp. And he's going to put on Goron, target hold down, and roll into the woods here while holding target. Now what this does is it actually put the witch uh, inside the woods without having to watch the cutscene. Because when you, if you look at the, uh, I guess the potion shop from like a... A weird angle or camera position. It's a little weird, but it it basically just puts her in the woods and we don't have to go back out. Yeah, good time for donations, though. I can do that for you. $400 from Friendship. Hi, Morph. It's your friends from the Friendship Discord server here, watching from all around the world. You've got this. You're absolutely crushing this Majora's Mask run because, let's be real, you're not here to meet with the terrible fate. <laughs> Much love to you, Marco, Dope, Pope, and everyone else supporting such a wonderful cause. We know it's dangerous to go alone, so take this donation. Thank you so much. So, right there, um, you'll notice he sort of did a weird menuing. Um, and so, what that was is uh, something called a quip swap. Um, it's similar to what the uh, letter recovery, uh, item recovery thing was earlier that we did, but uh, we can basically duplicate items by doing that. That was a huge discovery. Um, and so he basically just duplicated his red potion to be able to have the red potion later for the stone mask. Um, and we're able to use that for the Zora eggs later as well, which is a huge plus because that was not... That, that was probably my least favorite side quest as a kid, going to get all the Zora eggs. Yeah. And really good segment so far, dude. Yeah, you're playing pretty good. So right here in the uh, tourist hut, we can back walk against this door, and that'll make our A button busy, and then we'll talk to the witch, receive pictograph box, but I don't think we want to ride the boat, so he's going to hold down and tap A, and we're out of there. And then we also have our first archery game coming up, too. And we're coming up close to halfway in this run. We're, yeah. we're uh, Just making about, some yeah. good progress here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank oh. you. Yeah. <laughs> So this uh, minigame is pretty straightforward. He's, he's basically going to be killing all the enemies for each wave in a certain order. So he'll start with the scrubs here, and then he'll move on to the um, the Gwaze, and then the Wolfos. And it's kind of just like rinse and repeat as fast as you can. And another thing to note here is we're, we're playing on the Wii Virtual Console version of this game, and aiming on the Wii Virtual Console is very difficult. It's yeah. like very sensitive aiming compared to the N64 version with the controller. So it's, it's very it, easy to. It's overdue. a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason all these look like flick shots almost. Yeah, <laughs> it's like extremely sensitive. Yeah. That's wave one complete. Nice. 
and then one more for the heart piece. Yeah, most mini games in this game work like that. You have to yeah. do them twice. And yet another great developer thing here, where they're you know just taking their time, counting down the numbers here. <laughs> This is another rando plus. If you play randomizer, it just shoots yeah. down to zero yeah. immediately. Yeah. It's unfortunate, too, because even if you do, like, save a second on the timer, you won't technically save that full second. Yeah. Yeah. It'll st it'll only be, like, at most half a second, maybe. Mm-hmm. So it's really hard to save time on this minigame. So we got to do this minigame twice. One to get the quiver and then another for a heart piece here. Probably a good time for donations too, yeah. I can do that. We have eleven dollars from Ultra Robocats. I rolled a dice, but instead of getting a number, I got an H. Eleven kinda looks like an H, I guess. Anyway, press one. Good luck, guys. We're about halfway through the run here, and I went ahead and rolled my D20 for donations. I rolled an eleven, so I'll be donating fifty-five dollars. Please keep getting those donations in. We also have $10 from The Chef, a recipe for rock sirloin. Choose a rock from your field. Most rocks will do, but the bigger and juicier the rock, the more flavor it will have. Collect three moon steers and grind on a Goron drum into fine powder. This is for seasoning, to give it an observably astral taste. Sprinkle liberally on your rock. Skewer with a fire arrow and slow cook over an open flame for three days. Pairs well with the famous Deku recipe for roast monkey. Serves five or one hungry Goron. Thank you, Chef. I'm not eating that. $50 from Pork Chungus. Much love to the runners and their amazing efforts to a wonderful cause. Loving the Majora's Mask run, and please excuse my shout out to another Nintendo character for my best friend and wannabe Wario who is currently fighting for his own cure. We've got to go, Jack. You're gonna win. Wow, that was really good. That was, yeah. that was a that great. Was really <laughs> Thank you, I picked the right character in Mario Party. All right, so now that archery's over, we're just gonna be making a few more stops before we head to our third temple. And this heart piece is very annoying. Yeah, and then Morph is gonna try to uh, shoot down Tingle, the, the balloon, uh, while he's climbing the uh, the vines there to, during the cutscene of Tingle falling. Yeah, just a small. Another optimization. Yeah, nice. So you can hear he's climbing while the cutscene's happening yeah. here. We used to have a stone mask for all the bad bats here, but just didn't work out this one. And then a nice picture of Tingle. Nice. So this picture is actually a bit finicky because uh, the requirements are strange for it being a legit photo of Tingle. Um, you have to have the point of his hat in frame. Yeah. Um, like, it, it, his head can be pretty far below. It's kind of funny, yeah. but uh, as long as the point of his hat is in frame, you're yeah. good. Yeah. It's really weird. And then now, since we came in from the other way, we're actually going to watch the intro cutscene this time for the swamp. We usually, I think we actually used to skip this in older routes. Yeah. So now we're just going to get our single picture heart piece, and then we'll be doing our second spider house, but this time we'll get all the sculptures. <laughs> I love the voice acting in this game. It's so good. And then right here, Morpheus can just do a cool little Goron roll to skip this nice. uh, Octorok. Oct. Nice out the other side. So we're actually going to do this uh, Skaltza house um, and get all the uh, Skaltzas and the reason is because the reward for this one is actually a mask that we need and that's part of our requirements as opposed to the um, rupee wallet of the other one that we didn't need to do. 
Yeah, and what you saw right there is Morpheus actually broke his stick when burning the vine, uh, the webs there, and we're actually going to do bottles over our nuts and stick because we need space for the Deku Princess um, and an egg. Yeah, so this glitch here is called a bottle dupe, um, and basically what it is is uh, if you have a bottle with something in it uh, in your hand uh, and a item like a stick or nut that has a zero value on it on a different C button, you can actually do what's called ESS position, which is a very precise um, basically position of the control stick uh, in combination with pressing the buttons together essentially, um, and it will put an empty bottle over top that item. Um, but what's important for 100% is that at the very end of this run, we need to make sure that those bottles are back to normal mm -hmm. with uh, the items that are supposed to be on those slots. So they're going to be bottles for a while because it gives us extra room to carry things around here. Um, however, we're going to be, uh, you know, grabbing another stick later on and another nut later on um, to be able to overwrite those bottles and have the respective yeah. items in the slots. We'll actually end up putting a bottle over Chudes later on for something, for kind of a different reason we can explain later on. But it's actually really convenient that um, we actually won't replace the bottle on our on our shoe slot until we're on the moon. And it's kind of crazy that we can just get Chudes there and it works out. And then right here, um, this room is pretty notorious for being bad. But thankfully, if you bonk the tree pretty quick, they're... It's not technically guaranteed since uh, it changes all the time, but where the where these sculptures land out of the tree depends on when you bonk them. So we just bonk it immediately so that we can get good uh, positioning and then get the other hidden ones. And while we're doing the sculptures here, we can do some more donations yeah. if, if you have any. Yeah, absolutely. Hi. It me again. I finally rolled the dice. <laughs> anyway, we have a donation of $5 from Minus. They say, hi, GDQ, Pope, Marco, Morpheus, and Cardi. I really hope we find a cure for cancer. My uncle, oh, my uncle passed away last year from lung cancer. Good luck on the runs and hello to the rest of the Squid Squad. Press H. Thank you for that donation, Minus. Another $50 donation from Doodlebee. I'm loving this double host with Cardi and Mello. They're so in sync. They even finish each other's sandwiches. The, the Majora's Mask 100% run in 2016 was the first speed run I ever saw. And I've watched every GDQ event since. Thanks to everyone who helps make these events possible and for all the good you do. Less than three. I have a $50 donation from Draco. They say a haiku. The hero of time. Speed runs across Termina to beat down cancer. Can't wait for the 4P1C fight. We love haikus at GDQ. So yeah, in this room here, uh, it's kind of cycle-based with this uh, Skullchilla here in the middle. Uh, if you do it really fast, you can actually jump on it and then kill it with the Great Fairy Sword and just jump across to the other side. But uh, even if you make like some small mistakes, it you have to hookshot it and then cross over with the torch. Yeah, the Great Fairy Sword swings in a really awkward way. So sometimes yeah. getting the spider hits is a little weird. And just having the Great Fairy Sword so early on is, is really nice. It's really helpful since we don't have a but a sub sword or a B button. These uh, soil, sc soil scales can be annoying because if, if you get unlucky and the bugs take too long to dig in there, uh, there's like the ten sound yeah. that makes it not work and they the skull don't come out and you have to get bugs back. Mm -hmm. Thankfully it didn't happen there. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty no bug rare. Good. It's a very rare. Yeah. So there's all thirty. Nice. And then we get our mask of truth, which is very important for the dog race later. Yes. It's kinda of funny how the dog interacts with all the different yeah. uh, transformations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it likes Zora because it smells like fish. It, d it dislikes Deku, and I think it's afraid of Goron. I didn't know it was the smells like fish. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> think that's the lore behind it. I didn't know yeah. that either. That's some deep lore. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, we're now making our way back to Woodfall, and thankfully, uh, this time around, we will finish it, and... Uh, 
yeah, we'll be getting all the fairies and whatnot. Probably good for a few donations. Thank you very yeah. much. I was about to ask. <laughs> How about I knock out some big ones? We have a $1,000 donation from Ooh. Archive. Wow. Thank you so much. There's no comment with that one. Wow. Really appreciate that. And another $200 donation from Spencer. They say $50 for every beaver attempt. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer. Uh, yeah, so nut drop there, and that's kind of scary because if we pick up that nut, it'll override our bottle. Right. You can continue with Oh, oh yeah, sure, right. sure. Um, let's see. Yoshizilla donates $10. Thank you. They say, hey, guys, a bunch of us are watching from the run in Dreaded's room, and we're so happy that all of you get to show off this run, even if it's long. You all have our support, and we will be with you, cheering you on. All of you are awesome, and we'll be celebrating after the run with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you to Dinner Special for your $250 donation. Thank you to the community that makes these events possible. Early diagnosis is so important, and I'm always happy to support PCF. Thank you. And a $35 uh, donation from Anonymous. They say, here's my dice roll toll. I like the verbiage on that. Yep, so now we're doing Woodfall 2. Um, I already got a few fairies off the bat, and then here we're going to have another hover to this other side because it's just faster than riding the uh, platform. And then we have a very cool strat coming up with the uh, gecko here. There you go. Nice. Nice. That was a good little backup there with the shield turning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never thought about that. And the back walk there, too. Okay, so this is uh, going to be a pretty crazy little strat here yeah. if we can land this. But there's a there's a quick fight here. Yeah, I, I want everyone to pop off if he gets it. Nice. 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 Oh, he barely missed it. Yeah, yeah. The, the gecko so there is a little too far to the left, and... I've spent hours trying to get this consistent, and there's only so much you can do to determine where the gecko's going once he falls off the uh, turtle. Well, what's interesting about the gecko here is the only the reason why this is difficult is not the speed that he's moving, but it's more that um, the gecko is only able to be hit when he's on the wall, yeah. Yeah. like on the ground. Otherwise, we would just probably spin attack and mm -hmm. that'd yeah. be it. So it's extremely precise to get that quick kill there. And technically, we can use remote hookshot with that hookshot slide again to skip the boss key here for Woodfall, but uh, it can crash easily if you mess up anything. And it's just difficult it's, to do. It's it just fast. not worth it. It only saves like a few seconds. It's so. really easy to crash too because the dragonflies will start homing in on yeah. you. Yeah. So this will be our only boss key that we get in this entire run. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can do a little cool jump slash there to get the fairy in. And we got the map, right? Already? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. see it there. Oh. <laughs> 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 so as much I pay attention to the screen. It's a speedrunner brain right there. We have these arrows here. And again, here we're gonna avoid this nut. Yep. Oh, oh wow! Goodness, it, it really <laughs> comes fast. right that for was you. Close. <laughs> um, so if that happens, uh, it's it's not a huge deal, but um, it's just it, annoying. It, yeah. So <laughs> it it would be a big deal if we already had the Deku Princess in that bottle because that would completely yeah. delete the the Deku Princess, and yeah. that would be bad. We'd have to. To comp uh, oh. beat with fall gun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thankfully, we, we we don't put the princess in the nut bottle anymore. The so bottle, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. We're coming up soon on leg number three. Yeah. Actually, actually. Marco's going to be starting here pretty soon. Yep. yep. Yeah, this room's pretty cool using on fires. Yeah. So. All the fairies. 
And then here we have probably the darkest room in the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, this is where you got to make sure your brightness is turned up a bit here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too... There's little <laughs> eyeballs everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so to get the fairy in this room, you just have to kill all the bows. Yeah, Great Fairy Sword is so strong. It's so nice here. Oh, we're missing one here. Yeah, sometimes here, you you have to run in like a certain spot to get them to work. It's, pro the it's probably on one of the torches or in yeah, the middle. Yeah, pro probably on one of the torches, maybe. Where did he go? I don't know. Oh, you hear him? Oh, wait. He's behind what? you. Is he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never One seen that. that. Yeah. Wow. I've never had that That's, That was funny. <laughs> Crazy. I was trying to listen for him too, and I just didn't hear him. Yeah. How's our in-game time looking? Are we are we good on that? Or? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're okay. I have to dare reset. You'll have to do the, yeah. Yeah. And then here's a cool little jump nice. slash recoil to get over to this lower floor. And this temple's almost done. Yep. Uh, coming into this room, we just got uh, four fairies in here, but two of them were going to use that bow extension uh, glitch that we were using before to flip stone tower. Mm -hmm. There's one. Nice. There you go. And then here we can just use hookshot to go all the way to the boss door from this flower. Hopefully these, these dragonflies. Dragon yeah. yeah. Hopefully they cooperate here. And they're not. Yeah, uh, never. They never do. The hook shell was past them. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right, so Adoa is probably... I, I, I was doing some thinking. I think Adoa actually might be the most difficult boss in this run. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to have to hold our breath on this one. So just some silence here. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He got the quick kill. Wait. Uh, we, uh, did, we just had a TV. Yeah, we had a monitor slip up. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. Okay. I just thought the weed turned off. <laughs> I thought so. That's the first thing I checked. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll be it for right. leg number two. Good job, Marcus. Nice yes. job. Yay. Very good. Very nice and done. Oh, All right, so when am I swapping off after the Giants cutscene? Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, pretty pretty short but action packed segment overall. It was a lot of fun. And the action is not over yet. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to go here. Only halfway through it now. Yeah. yeah, I'd say right around here is pretty close. This is to the pretty halfway. much the halfway point, yeah. yeah. I th I think like partway through Woodfall's halfway, I would say. So we're 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 a little over halfway. Yeah, right? yeah. All right. Nice job, Morpheus. Nice. That was nice. awesome. Now I get Marco's seat. Good luck, Marco. Good Thanks. Luck, dude. Marco's got, I would say, probably the most difficult section in this run with, probably, uh, yeah. with, with Great Bay Temple. Yeah. Up, so right. let's do this. Just some side quests in, in Great Bay Temple. Actually, in a trick right here, we're actually going to be quiet here for a yep. second. I hope we don't get wait. This is actually night transition. Yeah, you might just wait for it. I'm just going to wait. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Good? 
Nice. 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 There we go. So, <laughs> Marco gets a really yeah. difficult trick yeah. to start his. Yeah. Kind of hard, yeah. yeah. That, that's a tough one. That's so, like three frame perfect inputs. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's um, what we call a ground clip uh, in this game. And he's basically just using that bomb to be able to push himself uh, uh, through the ground and, and to the wall to be able to skip the cutscene uh, to grab the Deku Princess there. And then we also have a very another hard trick coming up in the Fairy Fountain. Yeah, we do. We probably should yeah. have some silence here for a couple minutes. Yeah, that Fairy Fountain trick is going to be pretty much like the Grotto trick that we did. Where yeah. All the Fairy Fountains are connected between each other. So you're going to see him actually enter um, a different fairy fountain through this one, similar to how we did the grottos earlier. Before I do a cutscene skip to get the uh, great spin. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, this is the last one we'll do for the cutscene skips. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was a that frame was early. Frame yep. early yep. That's ah. frame late. <laughs> yeah, that's two frames. Of course, like the early one and the late one. <laughs> Come on. There, there it is. There it is. Yep. There it is. All right. Okay, so there's part one. So we still got to be quiet here for this next part. There we go. Nice. 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 That's a really big one. And missing this would be very yeah. bad. So missing this would be bad it's because... It's like six minutes of time lost. Yeah, yeah. So, so here we're ending up uh, outside of this fairy fountain, and the reason why it's important that he landed that is because we need to hit this owl here, and do, doing a bunch of backtracking to get that owl later on just costs a lot of time because we also have to get the double magic here, and yeah, nice job, dude. Yeah, it's very scary. To that, do that's in that's two like really difficult tricks. But yeah, to start off, yeah. Yeah. this run is just heart attack central. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a good time for donos, though. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much to Happy Pembles. They donate twenty dollars and say good luck to Pope Marco, Morpheus, and Dope for this relay. I found Pope back in two thousand nineteen, and his content kept, content kept me going during a tough couple of years. I love his community. So welcoming, fun, and accepting. I look forward to seeing the blindfolded Majora fight. Also, thank you to Cartridge Blowers for their $55 donation. They say, paying my roll toll. So happy to see this great run as we head towards the dawn of the final day. Put this towards activating maid mode in Mega Serval because we support blue collar workers. Thank you to Tuscan Sandman for your $5 donation. They say, we got Cardi to do a mellow impression of a Link impression. Can we get a mellow impression of Cardi doing a Link impression? Okay. Uh, this is Cartridge Blowers, and, uh, well, excuse me, princess. Hype to all of my fellow late night in person homies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you to Kai Tuwu for your $50 donation. They say, for the rock sir sirloin, <laughs> good luck to all the runners. Time for more? Uh, one second here. I remember the uh, note thing. Song. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely. EBD donates $20 to Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thank you very much. Nice. They say, this run is absolutely amazing. And yes, that's in reference to the pause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Anarchy for their $5 donation. They say, from the crowd, hi, Mello. Hope Mello reads this. You got it. Hey. <laughs> okay, so... Um, 
essentially what happened there is um, we did something called a ocarina dive, um, where when you're close enough to the edge of a platform, you can basically slash to the edge, and Link is sort of off the edge in a, in a state to where if you pull ocarina, uh, you'll start falling with it. Um, and so that's good because you can do what's called uh, Song of Time storage. So right there he stored the Song of Double Time. Um, and you saw like w when he ran up to that sign there, he pulled up the text for that and he advanced the, uh, the day. And so we finally have a sword back. Only for a brief but moment. <laughs> we're going to redeposit it again. <laughs> and we'll be swordless for another hour. And then here's another instance of that uh, clip swap again to dupe the uh, gold dust. Because we're gonna actually wanna keep gold dust for the uh, getting the bank card piece later on, which we'll explain. And we'll get there. Yeah, that's part's perfect for Denos too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. You know, I was checking out the incentives, and did you all know that there's a bid war for Star, Star Fox 64? Basically, it's who survives Fox's wrath. Uh, right now, number one and number two are extremely close. With almost $6,000, we have They All Die. And with almost $5,000, we have Slippy Lives. I want Slippy to live, so if you do too, make sure that you're applying your donations towards that incentive. Uh, and oh, how about this? A $1,000 donation from oh. Dirk Raff. Thank you. Wow, so much money late at night. Their comment reads, what a neat event. Keep up the great work. Yeah, great job to the runners. Honestly, we're pulling in a ton of large donations this late at night, and even the small donations. Every penny counts, but I think one more big round of applause for all the hard work they're putting in for this relay. Thank you all very much. So yeah, just making another quick clock town trip. Uh, remember mask, yep. And then, so we get that one frog here, and then we can actually, if we roll and then see up at a, on a certain point, we can talk to Cafe through the wall. Yeah, it's a little finicky, there, there we go. It just saves having you to walk around the corner. Good time for more donations. <laughs> Absolutely. $70 from Tyler, and that goes to Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thanks again. They say, here is my D20 roll. 14 times 5. Very fitting of a, don a donation challenge. I ran my D&D &D buddies through a one-shot I made tonight before tuning in for Majora's Mask. Go Morph, Dope, Pope, and Marco. Keep up the good work. Donation goes to seeing Mitch run Sekido. Oh, that's going to be good, too. Thank you to Kella for their $50 donation. They say, when I was a kid, I thought Majora's Mask was kind of scary. As an adult, okay, it's still kind of scary, but I'm enjoying watching these incredible runners show their complete mastery of the game. All right, so after we pick up the Bremen Mask here, we're almost about to do everyone's favorite part. Uh, yeah, we're, um, Talking about yeah, I know, I know what you're <laughs> <laughs> the dog race. I was trying to think there. Yeah, so yeah, I already got Swamp Gossip, so we're sort of chilling on that, and then just making our way into the ranch, hitting Milk Road Owl, and then on on night or it's a night two or day two. There's a fence here on day two in general, so we have to hover over that. And March, Marco actually intentionally avoided breaking the the fairy grass right there because we believe that it messes with the uh, infinite sword glitch here. Yeah, if you're within range of grabbing that fairy, uh, for some reason you're not able to um, pick up items, yeah. which is very strange. I don't know why that is. And, and if you can't pick up an item there, that means that you can't get the infinite sword glitch to activate there to hover over the fence. So we spent a lot of time trying to figure out, like, why are we not able to, you know, get infinite sword glitch to hover over this? And it's because of that, I guess. So. Yeah, you're going to see another day reset coming up here in a minute, and that's because we want to still be on day two and get everything out of the ranch out of the way. So that's going to be doing happening with the Gossip Stone here. Nice. Nice. Oops. Yeah, so you can get um, Ocarina while walking and then play the song and then store it as he walks into the loading zone here. 
And then he's gonna talk to uh, Kremia. And then after the text is gone, that Song of Double Time text box is gonna pop back up and that's gonna trigger a day reset like we saw after we com uh, defeated the aliens. There it is, yep, nice. And now, everyone get ready. The Frankerzies in chat. Yes, Frankerzies in chat. We're uh, we're headed into one of the more annoying parts of this run, um, and sadly, the blue dog is unable to win. So we yeah, um, it's pretty much impossible. We cannot we cannot pick the blue dog, um, and the reason for that is because the blue dog actually has a negative speed value, and the rest of them do not. So um, it is. Mathematically impossible for the blue dog to win. Oh, oh nice. we got a good text good. here. Okay. All right, so good text box here, and then not so, guaranteed though. Yeah, not over yeah. yet. But you gotta grab the nice. Oh yeah, there you go. Yep. No, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Let me grab it, please. Yeah, the, there you go. Her text box is annoying. Yeah, it's important he has to do that far away, the dropping the dog, because there's a soft lock that can happen. Yeah. There. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. On. <laughs> Come on, old yeller. Blue dog in first place, though. Oh, blue dog. Look oh, at wait, no, we're no. making oh. it. Oh, oh here oh, he goes. He's going to win. He's putting the gout back. Cast his pedal. He's not, he's not getting boxed oh, in. Oh, he's too good. Oh, look at him go, brother. Let's go. Yeah, nice. there we go. Good first opinion. try. All nice. right. There we go. Thanks, game. Yes, thank you, video game. We needed that. <laughs> and the blue dog didn't get last. Yeah. Well, yeah. Usually he's just really trailing behind. That's yeah. kind of funny. Sometimes he trail like all the dogs are off the screen entirely, and yeah. then the blue dog is like really struggling to keep up. Sometimes so. the other dogs will end up back on screen with how slow he is. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. That's that's one of the big uh, random like RNG parts of the run. So got that one out of the way. We have even more randomness with yep. uh, back to back. That's right. This is also uh, baby Cuckoo's here. And this actually, he's gonna show us a new strategy here. Um, that um, it was Trev that came up with this, right? Yeah. So uh, Trev person was messing with this mini game to see uh, how we can make this easier because the movement speed with the Bremen Mass March is really slow. Um, so you saw there uh, at the beginning, he essentially was. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> um, Essentially, he was grabbing the uh, the birds, and if you let go of the B button after you have one march behind you, it gets sent to the front. Um, yeah. So that adds for more consistency with being able to get them all. There's one more. What a happy game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he ran all the way back. Yeah, yeah that was a little lucky lead. there. Not the best, yeah. <laughs> it's better than losing dog race. We'll yep. say that. <laughs> yeah, true. And now we just not have fun. to not let go of the B button. Yeah, never. That would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I've made that mistake before. Jake CSR has made that mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Nice. <laughs> then we get the bunny hood. It's actually, we actually used to barely use it in older routes, but um, now we actually use it more than I think we ever have before. Yeah, we get some use out of the bunny hood, for yeah. sure. Because, I mean, typically we'd have, you know, Goron for fast movement, but it's mm. better to, because um, the mass transitions actually take a lot of time to, like, transform between human and yeah. Goron, so to minimize that, you can just put on the bunny hood, and even though it's slower than, like, max speed of Goron, it still ends up being faster. It's good when you need to stay human for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. Then we get another mini game. Right. <laughs> this is a fun section. We're almost at the th three hour mark here. Oh man. That's some good progress. What kind of pace do you think we're on? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I want to we'll, say we'll like, we'll like after, high, after we get to, high 430. After we get to Great yeah. Bay Temple, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, yeah. I yeah, think, I think 450, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, and what Marco is going to be trying to do here is manage his carrots uh, in a specific way so that um, you can maintain top speed throughout the whole race. 
or most of, for the most part. So the glitchless runners of this game are very, very, very good at this. Yeah, Trev um, and Jess especially are very yeah. good. So 46 is the fastest time you can get here. Let's see what he gets. It's going to be a 47, right? Ooh, that was close. Yeah, close. Oh, that, was that was still close. good. Yeah. yeah. We really got our inventory filling up now. Yeah. Almost two rows of starting our second row heart soon. So up here we're going to do um, some specific movement here, some rolls here. Um, and what this does is it places us really close to this load zone to go back in this area. And so he's going to play Song of Double Time here to advance the day. And right at the end of this little cutscene here, he's going to be holding the direction to go into the load zone. And you'll see what happens here. But... Sentry's so going to show the night, and then Link's not going to be on the screen. And so now um, we're starting this cutscene, but we bypassed having to watch another cutscene before this. Mm -hmm. And now is definitely a good time for donations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, lots of wah <laughs> coming up. I can help you out with some wah because we have $10 from Tingle. Tingle, right. Tingle, Kula, Limpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. I hate Tingle. He's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> what did Tingle do? Wow! $15 from Hector was wrong. Tingle, Tingle, Kula, Limpa. <laughs> Always love a good time watching AGDQ with friends. Always could use more Tingle. That's wrong. You're incorrect. We could not use more Tingle. I'm taking our anger out on the moon here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> anger at Tingle, I hope. We have $25 from Cali Roney. I got to donate during the fever dream of a game, Majora's Mask. This is now a Tingle appreciation donation. What's happening? <laughs> what are we doing? All Listen, the Tingle love. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there. You want to donate towards that gentleman tingle. I need all your donations to go towards the next open incentive we have, which is activating maid mode. If you're going to do that, if you're going to honor this person, I need you to reach $3,000 to activate maid mode in Mega Serval. We're 38% of the way there. Get those uh, tingle donations in. <laughs> so yeah, um... With that minigame in specific, uh, you only need to hit each of the Gorman Bros three times for them to not break all of the milk bottles. So you saw two of them break there, but as long as the third one doesn't break, then you still win. And then back to Clock Town for more minigames yeah. and some couples mask side quest progression. I'm gonna drop off the pendant here. And now it's time to dunk on him. All right, day two, honey and darling. This is uh, probably the most fun of the three, I think. I, th I like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mostly because I'm good at it. All right, so this, um, or wait, what's the order here? Are you doing chest first or? No, I'm going to do the third. Uh, okay, okay. D &D, yeah. Okay, so uh, the third day here is actually um, kind of interesting because he's going to be doing something at the very end of the mini game that uh, you'll notice. And uh, I can explain more after. Yeah, first, I'm going to enter as DQ because uh, if you enter the third day mini game, there is less target to shoot. Mm hmm. Because you can play the mini game as Diku with magic. Yeah, as human, if you enter, I think there's like 20 targets. Yeah, and there's 10 as Diku. Yeah. So we can enter here as Deku, and then he'll take off Deku, and then he's going to equip swap uh, a mask over Deku, so the Great Fairy mask here. 
and it's going to wear it. So now they think he's wearing Deku Mask since it's equipped over that slot. And then play the minigame, and then I'll let it go from there. Nice. 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 So, what happened there was you, you saw he switched to Zoro right before the last arrow hit the last target. And the reason why that's important is because now um, we can actually check just to make uh, sure. I'm going to check. Yeah. yeah. But um, now what happened is if he presses the B button here, nice. Okay, so he shows a bottle instead of uh, using his fins there. And uh, that bottle is actually a seahorse in the in the bottle um, on his fins now. So now we don't have to take the photo of the pirate to do the seahorse side quest, and we already have it in our inventory. That's also one of the main reasons why this is on Japanese. That trick right there. Yeah, that's a Japanese exclusive. Yeah, because if you try to do that trick on uh, English, you actually get a beta bottled contents called the Hylian Loach that goes on Zoro. Wow, wow, that, wow, that, was, so that was so good. good. RNG. That was, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Your RNG's been pretty good. Yeah. Other than the Bremen mask, I guess, but yeah, that that mini game is so annoying. Like, there's ways that you can. Uh, I, I feel bad for the 100% glitchless runner yeah. because you can't. You know, there's, there's a glitch to be able to like go through the blocks, but on glitches, that's you know, that's a glitch. Yeah. So, um, a lot of runs, I'm sure, die there. Even with glitches, sometimes you just get impossible patterns to get to the chest. Yeah. Yeah. And then here we have a trick called Index Trick, and it's basically just a simple um, bomb recoil with Deku to clip into the hideout here. Nice. But yeah, uh, normally this only opens at like 2 or 3 p.m. and just lets us come in here and grab the Keaton Mask and the Express Mail. And that express mail we just received, uh, we'll be doing another letter recovery with that one later on. Um, okay, so now we're gonna make our way over to Great Bay Temple, which is um, arguably the most difficult dungeon yeah. in, in this uh, in this speed run. Uh, but we we got some time for donations until then. Absolutely. How about this? Uh, Lowell Bryce donates $50, and they say, Majora's Mask is one of my favorite games of all time. Save Slippy. Yeah, throw that in there, too. We love Slippy, right? And Tangle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Baksu Chan. They donate $50 and say, This game helped shape the person I am today. Thank you for everything y'all do. Smiley face. We also have a $25 donation from Brewing Dopamine. Thanks so much. They say it feels appropriate that Awesome Games Done Quick overlaps with the five-year anniversary from losing my dad to cancer. Roll to five, and five times five is 25. Loving Majora's Mask on the GDQ screen. Thanks so much for that. So here you can actually get kind of lucky for the heart piece to land on one of those lily pads. And then now we're going to enter Great Bay just doing a simple Ron Bomb Boost and plenty more time for donations. So <clears throat> we are going to make our way over here to Pinnacle Rock. Um, and essentially now that we already have the seahorse on our B button, we you know don't have to do that extra side quest to get the seahorse now. Um, and this uh, path here is, you know, in a casual playthrough, you would let the seahorse guide you through this little maze here. But Marco's going to do some... Oh. Oh, I guess. Yeah, uh, slim down. Oh. Well, do you know where to go still? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. So you can, uh, it, it's already predetermined like where you're supposed to go here. So as long as you follow the signs in a specific way, then you're not going to void out into the um, ocean yeah. here. 
Yeah, what Marco was trying to go for is that you do the dolphin dives on top of the water and it just saves a little bit of time. And there, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to grab a fish here. It can be annoying sometimes. Okay, oh, there we go. Nice. And now we have to kill all the eels. Yeah, sadly we still have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. This whole section just has so much build up to like great bit. Yeah. I never really enjoyed it. I, I didn't I didn't like it. Good time for more donations, though. Absolutely. Quick incentive update on that maid mode. 43% of the way there. Matthew donates $10 and says, Hello from the donation station. As a Tingle fan, ugh, I love seeing all the love that comes in for our airborne cartographer friend. Let's show Cardi that we can use our appreciation for our favorite fairy to unlock that incentive. Dark Blob 2 donates $95. They say, 1d20 roll, as requested, got a 19. And then on the other end of that, Bobby Blackwolf donates $100 and says, I rolled a one. Sad face. Well, hey, that is a critical, it's just a critical failure, but a critical hit for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Reverberating Owl donates $25 and they say, Pope, I found you because of a GDQ run, and I'm so proud to see you back again. Much love to you and the Squid Squad from your resident lurking owl, and best of luck to all the runners. What the? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, thankfully you didn't sink down, but yeah, these eels can be weird sometimes. But thankfully this is the last one. There we go. Awesome. Now we'll just release our seahorse here, and uh, we're going to grab this egg here. And you'll notice that we didn't get any of the other eggs, and this ties into what I said earlier. Um, as long as we have one egg in a bottle, we can actually duplicate the egg multiple times uh, with the equip swap glitch. Uh, it's just basically that menuing glitch. And this is uh, a clip that Marco found called Marco Clip. And he got it. Ah, All right. Yeah. That's hard. Marco doing Marco Clip at GDQ. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I actually found this clip on accident in a run. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, he was kind of just swimming in an awkward direction there yeah, and, and uh, yeah. ended up going through the wall. So, yeah. and now it's better, than, it's better <laughs> than swimming up and back out. So, and then coming up here is going to be a lot of equip swaps for the fish heart piece and getting new wave. So for this next fish heart piece, the minimum fish you need is four. But sometimes uh, there's a, a, a manip that kind of works, but sometimes doesn't. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. So we need to basically just feed enough fish to one of these fish to eat their friend. In the Pretty thing. much. <laughs> and drop a poopal heart piece. So hopefully the same one is going to eat these fish. And you're good. Nice. Yep. Okay, nice. So whenever it goes back into the left there and faces that direction, you're pretty much good from what I've seen. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. I mean, it's not 100%, but yeah. most of the time. Nice. Yep. Yep. One. So that was that's pretty good. And then sometimes this fish can be stubborn and spit the heart piece onto the floor yeah. instead of the... Yeah. I, I mean, I don't even know why that happens. but It's a low percent, but it happens. Oh, okay. nice. 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 Good RNG. Awesome. And... Yep. I think it's also dependent on which way he's facing when he, like, finishes eating the fish. Because if he's facing more left, I think it goes onto the floor. And then here we're all going to get some good counting practice in. So this is one. Yeah, one. We need seven total here. Six eclipse slops and then drop the real one. Two. 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 I mean, this has to be like the best trick ever found on this game, I swear. It, it like, saves so much time. Not, not having to like go and do this quest. And again, this is uh, two frame perfect inputs on at 30 FPS. Yeah. Like, it's it, it's tricky. Four. Four. Uh, 
five. Five. One more and then real. We technically don't have to nice. drop the real one, but cool. good stuff. Might as well. And seven. Nice. And we got some time for donations, if you have any. Uh, we do have some donations. Some of you have continued to send in donations for that horrid little goblin. Uh, $25 from an anonymous <laughs> donator. I'm making a Tingle donation out of defiance of both my partner and the couch. Go Tingle! That is out of defiance of a lot of things, Anonymous. Thank you so much for your donation. Hopefully, you put it towards activating Maid Mode and Mega Serval. That's coming up two games right after Majora's Mask. We are 45% of the way there. It's climbing. I will continue to read whatever you want me to read about that goblin as long as it goes towards unlocking Maid Mode. Five dollars for Musical Joker for my main man, Tingle. Hooray! Uh, and more psychic damage. Twenty dollars for Maniac Bob. I could never get through Majora's Mask as a child because it was always too sad to rewind time on all the people that Link was saving. It was much later that it became one of my favorites. It's always a joy to see it appear on the big stage and I'm having a great time watching this awesome run. Yeah, and what you saw Marco do there in the... Um the lab is he was basically mashing pause or ocarina and if you you have like a two frame window to pause and then soar out and basically right as you pull ocarina there uh you just get new wave immediately so we have a big cutscene scope coming up here we're gonna get some, some quiet time here yeah frame perfect pause coming up There you go. That's a relief. <laughs> yeah, you only get one try at that, and it's frame perfect. Uh -huh. If you miss that, it loses that's at least a, over a minute. Yeah, that's yeah. a very, very long cutscene. So. so we're going to do a couple things in Zora Hall here. Um, oh, I actually did not even know about this movement. I guess you can go to the left here. It's better. It's a little bit faster. Nice. So yeah. we're going to completely bypass this title deed section here by doing just a really simple punch to the wall and then go up. Oh, what the? Oh, there, there we go. go. Yep. Good video game. And then a very long song. Nice. So yeah, if you, if you already have the song memorized, um, you can just play it for him. But I think casually you have to read all the diaries and yeah. talk to the band members. Banana name. So this is like pretty much our last cutscene here before it really starts to ramp up. Yeah. This dungeon is very tricky. So Marcos put the practice in, so we're, yeah. we're going to get a good outcome here. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we got one more trick before entering Great Bay. Usually you have to watch this pirate cutscene after getting on the turtle. But we're going to utilize that uh, time stop glitch with the bomb again to activate the cutscene and then take the loading zone before it starts. So 
sick. And Hookshot just barely left this tree. And there's actually like an invisible um, platform here on where the turtle is. And then another time stop. So he's using time stop to activate the turtle's movement here. And I'm going to let him do this real quick here. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So that just bypassed having to sit and watch the whole cutscene of, yeah. you know, the, the entering of the dungeon or whatever um, by using time stop and then going into that load zone at the same time as releasing time stop so that the cutscene starts with the turtle, but we don't have to watch it. So, and here we go. Great I love the last temple, temple and the last hardest. temple. Okay, yeah, on this first room, there's just a few torches for a fairy. And then the next room is where it really picks up. Nice. That's a big one right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's one more Super right here. Super tricky movement. This is this is important too though yeah. right here. Nice. nice. There we Ooh. go. Nice. Very good. So that sequence of stuff is pretty difficult to. Um, figure out practice, but uh, that, that first trick is hard enough, but then that out-of-bounds trick um, is, is scary because if you fail that and you go out of the any area that is not the void area, um, I mean, you'll hit the void and then you'll have to start the entire room over again with the Goron thing. So that's a very difficult sequence of events there. Yeah, when swimming in out-of-bounds water, if there's no uh, ground below you, that's when you void. So he, he, he basically swam to, to keep on like where the ground is so he doesn't put out. And then in the, be in the beginning of the temple with the Goron uh, riding that water wheel, we just call it Goron water wheel. And uh, you can basically kind of time it where you roll on and then you kind of just roll off on the other side. It's really neat. Kill all these babas for the fairy. And then it's still important that we don't get another stick from these guys. And actually, getting a stick here is getting a stick it's, here. It's I better, think is, yeah. is actually great. It's it's better. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's in the other. Now room. now you don't have to grab one. Yeah. Before the bottle reworking. That yep. We had before. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Before we had the princess in the in the stick bottle, and if you picked up a stick. At any point after getting the princess, that was run over. Right. Yeah, but thankfully the uh, princess is not in that bottle. Yeah, she's in the real bottle now, so she's safe. Yeah. It's nice to be eliminated that. So we just got this one fairy here in the... Uh, Tunnel, and then we're gonna make our way to the uh, ward fight. Which, if Marco is a gamer, it's hmm. a pretty quick fight. The, 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 the way the glitchless guys do this fight, it's it's really annoying. Yeah, I've seen like no hit runs of this here. Yeah. This is this is a super scary moment for no yeah. hit because there's so much. Like, I mean. So we have a lot of hearts right now, so it's not a big deal. But, I mean, if you're doing a no-hit run, this is probably the most difficult yeah. boss. But thankfully, we have Great Fairy stored in Power Crouch Stabs. Nice. 
yeah, just storing a jump slash and getting ISG off the pot, and he's gonna walk it to the eye and then do a quick spin. Ah, uh, unlucky. It. Yeah, getting the quick kill here feels nice. kind of random, but that was, that was pretty good, good luck. That was yeah. a good fight. That was a good split. <laughs> That was. I wasn't paying attention to your time, but this, this seems like it was pretty good. Yeah. And now we get the best arrows, also the most useless, kind of. But not as useless as an Ocarina of Time, which <laughs> are extremely True. useless. <laughs> so this section up till the end of the dungeon is probably the hardest section of the entire run, I would say. For me, at least. Yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with that. Yeah. yeah, this is really tough. Yeah, in my PB, I did this temple pretty well, and then right after, I just lost a lot of time. So here, uh, Marco can just get ISG off of this pot while getting the fairy nice, and then do equips, and then hookshot over to this chest. And then after, we'll be... Uh, We'll actually be going in the exit of a room that we're going to be going into as an entrance with so, a few two hovers. So not this next room, but the one after that is where there's a really cool trick coming up that yeah. he's going to nail. Mm. It's, it's probably yeah, the that, coolest room in the game. Yeah, yeah, getting iceless is pretty nice. And then in this room for the seesaws, um, Marco's going to get in a specific spot and shield turn and then drop a chew, and that's going to go break a barrel. Nice lag. And then it's going to do a weird shot, and then the barrel's going to explode. And then he put on the mask, so the fairy's already flying over. He's going to drop down, and then the other fairy will come to him. And then in this next room is where the epicness will happen. All right, here we go. Got it. Nice. 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 Good job. This game turns into Super Mario 64 for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that trick's always very cool. It's a crowd favorite. And then after this ferry, we're just going to head over and collect the gecko. And then Mark is going to try to go for a... Uh, Kind of like a fast hit for the first part. Oh, oh that's oh, annoying. Oh, 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 it, it works. <laughs> It'll work eventually. It will work. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much we can do but wait there because we don't have fins anymore on our B button. Yeah. So we're just stuck there until he grabs the ledge. And it's kind of funny. They put that little window there right next to... Uh, where the boss key is, so there, I mean, you could completely avoid this fight if, if we were getting the boss key, but. Uh, so, yeah, here and then it's just an ice arrow and then a timed quick spin. Nice. <laughs> you do that equip in a weird spot. <laughs> yeah, he takes away the sword so he can roll yeah, right away. That makes it fair. Why don't we pause him? What? No. <laughs> what am I doing? Froggy. Uh. That's ours. We need one more frog, I believe. Yep. That's in the swamp. And then we're just going to walk right past the boss key. Don't need it. Passed it once, but twice. And then one of the two uses for ice arrows for getting this fairy up here. So that's a similar trick right there is to that tree heart piece from earlier to where he was able to combine the um, the melting of the waterfall or the frozen waterfall with uh, climbing that ladder there. So we just could bypass having to watch the climbing. Yeah. And then we probably have another one of the coolest boss key skips. Another out of bounds swim that's very precise. Right here, we're gonna have some quiet here.
Nice. nice. Okay, it's not over yet, though. So, yeah, now Marco's going to do a weird shot to hit Gyorg and prevent the uh, opening cutscene from playing. It was tough to see. There we go. Yeah, got nice. him. Nice. Okay, good. And he's going to hop all the way down, um, hit it once with barrier, and then there's a really cool way to kill Gyrick here coming up. We won't spoil it. Where is he? Uh, yeah, over there. Oh, right there. Wow. I'm going to wait. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to know where Gyrick is after that first part. Yeah. So just a stun. Then pull the letter, and now he's, he's dead. dead. Nice. <laughs> That was a really good Great Bay Temple. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Was I mean, good. The, the amount of practice that goes into yeah. doing this is crazy. Especially with the swings, it's so hard to just maneuver those. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we have uh, time for some donations now. If... Yes, absolutely. Um, Oh, do you hear that too? Okay, maybe we're good. $20 from Karen, who says, I love Tingle so much, I have a tattoo of him. He is a horrible goblin. That's why we love him. Don't worry, I have a Majora's Mask tattoo to balance it out. Love seeing this run for my all-time favorite game. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, we also have, okay, listen, I gotta tell y'all something. I died laughing re reading this donation. <laughs> We have a $50 donation from Vistalite saying, Tangle? What? That's my son. Eesh. Is he still doing that sort of thing? Ugh. How humiliating. <laughs> this guy, he's my son. <laughs> as old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going to all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. Thank you, Vistalite. Please gain control of your children. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. $25 from Thod. This is great. Uh, and it says, it could be worse. I could have just donated $25 to have you say, hello, Misa Jaja Binks, in Tingle's voice. Oh, wait, I did just do that. Uh, and they also want this to go to maid mode just fine. I guess I got to redo it in Tingle's voice. Um, Misa Jaja Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you, was Todd. good. We love that one. Uh, uh. So yeah, what Marco was trying to go for there, uh, go for there it was um, something called a high high ledge grab with Zora. So when you dive out of the water and you're holding A and then press B on a certain frame, um, Zora Link would kind of like fly in the air a little bit and stay airborne, and that gives you enough height to grab that ledge there. And then also our last uh, fairy fountain reward too. So how are we feeling three and a half hours in GDQ crowd? Good. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on close to the home stretch here. Yeah. So. We got about an hour and a half left. Yep. Probably less than that. Yeah, I'd say probably less than that. Yeah. So yeah, uh, did you explain the reason why we can't skip these? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so Forgot. this so the double defense and the double magic, we watch the cutscenes intentionally just because uh, we can see it here actually. We, right. We you, get the reward there. Exactly. Yeah. You gain the reward there rather than immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, like on the first the frame of the cutscene. Yeah. Yep. And then we just have a few more, uh, just a little bit more cleanup here in Great Bay, and then we'll clean up the swamp, and then we'll go to Akana, and then we'll be getting into final hours. And then after Marco's done with uh, Sakon's hideout, will be uh, Hope's part.
Also, this ice arrow shot right here is just annoying. Yeah. There, there, there's a really hard lineup you can do to where it's like it's basically pixel perfect to um, get an ice arrow shot really close to the middle of the island to do something silly, but it's doing a little bit easier as a variant. Hope I make it. <laughs> this should make it. Yeah, this should be fun. fun. There we go. Yep, you're good. What? Oh, oh, what? That's crazy. That's dumb. I have to go back now. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I think it's because the ice platform. Oh, yeah, because oh, it, it was bobs the, up and down. Yeah, the water. It was up yeah. Down. Oh. So, yeah. so you have to wait till it's at its height. I always wonder why it's like that. I guess yeah. I'll use hookshot. Yeah, it's really silly. Yeah. Yeah, just getting over to this minigame That's is so really hard. annoying. Yeah, this is really tricky. Yeah, movement. that jump is really hard. There we go. Nice. nice. <laughs> right as it's melted. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the perfect time for donation. Yeah, yeah this is a super yeah. mindless okay. game. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I uh, I apologize ahead of time. Cardi and I cannot stop laughing over here. These <laughs> jokes are so good. Thank you to Jake ZSR for your one hundred dollar donation. Oh, Jake. Oh, yeah. My God, Jake. They say best of luck to the runners from me and the Majora's Mask speedrunning community. Hopefully there will be no major glitches displayed throughout this. <laughs> <run>. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. I wonder if there will be. And that uh, oh, we have a fifty dollar donation from Jeff. They say more. Thank you to Valentine Blaze for your $250 donation. They say, long-time watcher, first-time donor. Amazing cause and love watching these games get broken. Good luck to the runners with the blindfolded Majora fight. And a quick activate maid mode incentive. We are only $16 away from being $1,000 away <laughs> from, seeing the, <laughs> from seeing the maid mode. So please make sure that I just hit the dice tray. Make sure that you are uh, applying your incentive when you go to gamesdonequick.com forward slash donate, at least for now, to that maid mode incentive. <laughs> we have a $25 donation from Tingle. They say, lonely single Kokiti looking for love. Short green loves balloons, loves balloon rides and making maps. I am single and ready to tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. Jail. Jail. Straight to jail with you. <laughs> uh, $50 from Spoonimus. They say, here's an awful Im mental image for you, Mello. Tingle in a maid outfit. Thank you for sacrificing a little bit of your mental health for cancer research. Hey, you got it. Yeah, here, this is one of the mini games where you just have to wait out the timer. Even though we already have the minimum amount needed to get the heart piece, we still have to just sit here. Yeah, there's gonna be another one right after yeah. this, actually. Like this. <laughs> it, it's, it's a good bathroom break, though, when you're yeah. on TV pace. True. Got one more heart piece here up on the ledge. And then we outie. So right here, he's going to use another one of those bomb boosts to be able to nice. get over to this ledge to not have to do um, the magic bean yeah. platform in there. I don't think I've seen that method for the long jump before. Yeah, it's someone from my chat who found it <laughs> suggested it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh, I, uh, that's what I use now. Uh, so. That's really cool. Works all, yeah, it works well. Man, whenever I do these runs, it's like, it's it's so long. I mean, like, I can't believe... I feel like it hasn't been that long. I mean, I, I just can't believe that, like, there's Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom 100% <laughs> speed runs. Like, yeah. it was crazy. Shout-outs to Nuki Dog for the 100% 100, 100 Zelda challenge. Marco, did you get the stick just now? I already got you it. You already have a stick. Oh, you got one in the Grape Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm never used to seeing that. That's the little time save. Yep. Yeah, just a little bit. 
So just like Torch Mini Game, you need to get 20 points there. But usually we get them very fast and then we have to wait for like almost a minute. Yeah, they give you a lot of extra time on these yeah. mini games. I don't remember struggling with these mini games that hard as a kid. No. You want to see how many points you can get? What's actually funny about this mini game is uh, there's a clip of Full Grown Gaming. Um, Kyle, who donated earlier and did the relay um, eight years ago, where he actually, at the very end of this mini game, shot a door out of his bow. Yeah, that um, was actually SRM. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of an introductory version of uh, the SRM glitch that I was talking about earlier, which is one of the glitches that's banned in this yeah. um, category, and it is. So uh, like it was, it's just such a funny clip because it, it's so funny Don't just seeing a door. Yeah. I'm stopping. <laughs> <laughs> like fly out of your bow. It was, it was it was so good. Yeah. What if you shoot a door now? Like, is your run just not verifiable because you did this? Or... Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> no SRM. Maybe you should try. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he did it either. I always something, try. I think it's something to do with the web. Probably, yeah. Uh, Maybe. Can you imagine if we got that? <laughs> That'd be so crazy. <laughs> Good time for more donations. Well, luckily, I can help you with that. Um, we have $60 from Tingle Enjoyer. <laughs> That's your name? Here's to the best Zelda game, freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. My donation goes to activating Maid Mode in Mega Serval. Well, I'll, I'll take the Maid Mode donation. We are 70% away from activating Maid Mode. So we are almost there. We need to get some more donations in, just a little more. I know you can do it. $20 from Lateran. Doesn't this game just make you feel tingly? <laughs> None of you are free of sin. <laughs> we have $10 from Happy Pimples, and they just say H. There's some H's in the chat. <laughs> Five dollars from Dino Might. Loving this Majora's Mask run. I'll be staying up to watch the whole run in the audience. Y'all, it is almost two in the morning. If you're in the audience, give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Love the live audience. You're crushing it. Man, they almost were cooking the monkey. All right, we're coming up on uh, my portion here pretty soon. Yeah. We have a uh, mask of sense here after this, and then uh, just a couple other things, and that'll be it. And then we're in the home stretch, everyone. It's just flying by at this rate. It is. Yeah. So typically, um, I don't know if you would really have Goron for this race. I think like Deku is kind of usually the you don't way to yeah. like spin your way through. But we're gonna use Goron here and go super fast through this entire maze here. Yeah, we like to dub this Super Dampe because it's like the Dampe race from OT, but right on like just much more technical. And the thing that we have to be careful here is with Goron, if you are uh, submerged in deep water as Goron, you actually void out and we'll have to start the whole race over again. Yeah. You gotta be careful there. Nice. Yeah, that's a cool strat there where you can just cross the gap using Goron. And then we can pick up user rupees down here. Okay. 
And then coming up right here, he's gonna try and charge a uh, Goron Spike. And then maybe... Oh? Got it, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, just barely. Yeah, nice. Got most of it. <laughs> yeah. That's the important room there. Yeah. Yeah, you can basically hold a Goron uh, Spike roll through that whole room and just go past all the flames. So we'll do our switch uh, quickly, Marco, because oh, we don't have as much time to... Yeah, yeah. when Cafe's running. Yep. Nice. Nice, that was good. Yeah, nice. So yeah, um, we're about to enter Sack on Tideout, which is another big focus part. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of our explosives in there to do some fancy moves. And usually you need... Um, yeah, you usually need like cafe outside waiting for you, and then you need um, the guy to come over and open the boulder at a certain time. But if you just do this quick setup, then you can just clip right in. What am I doing? Nice. nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, we will have some quiet here. For yeah. This is a pretty intricate set of things here. Mm -hmm. Nice. nice. And then there's one more. Got it. Nice. nice. Got the really good. That's good. That was really good. Nice, nice. job, dude. And right. that's it. Oh, uh, text box. Another round of applause for Marco. Yeah, nice job, Marco. Good stuff, man. All right, headed into leg four. And uh, that's a very hard switch. Upside down. Oh, yeah. This way. Play standing up. <laughs> yeah. I'll pause. I'm sorry. If I need to. You're good. You're good. Okay, here All we right. go. Good Last luck, leg. Good luck, Zach. Let's go, Let's go dude. Let's go. So yeah, right here. Um, uh, after leaving Sacons, it automatically starts us in final hours, and then um, first things first, we're gonna get Stone Mask here, and then we're gonna be doing Dampe and Olive Graveyard. So. Very exciting. Our boy Dampe. So this is that red potion that we saved from earlier um, when we did the equip swap for the witch in the forest. And we're just using the second one that we have here. So yeah, we still have so much left to do in this cycle still. Like, it oh might look God. like final hours, but um, like we pack a lot into these last few game hours so and the graveyard corpse is gonna do a hover uh and then equip goron as he's uh up on the on the grave to skip using the uh kita mask yeah it's kind of weird how this works you're kind of like doing a hover on yeah. on top of a slope and then falling down on that slope with goron which triggers the thing yeah like this and then Dempe. All, All right. right, so we are at probably the most run-killing part of this entire run. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. So this guy needs to dig up three flames in a row here. Um, 
So we're just going to hope. We're going to hope he does it. And if yeah. he doesn't, then we have um, some time to lose here. All right, we got one. one. It's 25% to get the best RNG. Yeah, it's 33% now. Yeah. And then it'll be 50 if he gets one here. I'm going to equip this. That's fair. Come on, Dampe. <laughs> My boy, Damp. Number two. Ah, of course. of course. Yep. Unlucky. Marathon luck. So if that happens now, so what what happens there is if he were to, um, if he were to dig that flame up there, um, what happens is uh, there's only one flame on either corner at that point. But now there's a flame on each corner. Oh, yeah. nice. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. So he's oh. basically gonna have to go up both. He's gonna fall down. I hope. No. I don't think he will. <laughs> it should be fine. I've never seen him that close to the edge before. <laughs> Wow, he's barely hanging on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, he likes to live on the, le on the edge. Yeah. Yeah, getting bad Dampe here is only about a minute time difference versus yeah. getting good Dampe. Yeah. Well, I'd say overall we got pretty decent luck in this run. Yeah. yeah I mean, dogs were nice. overall is pretty good. Yeah. yeah, no Goron race troll. Yeah. I mean, postman win is expected. Yeah. <laughs> well, truthfully, postman really was not that bad. Yeah, I, I, yeah it honestly. wasn't. It really wasn't. All right, now we get to walk all the way to the other side. Yeah. And wait for the other elevator. Yeah, ideally that would be the third flame. I mean, third flame. I mean, they were just totally trolling when they came up with Dampe in this game. Yeah, basically what you want is you want the first two flames on the ground to be a, to have flames, or the first two patches to have flames, and then you take one of the elevators and you just got to hope that it's a 50-50 and you just get yeah. the right side of the coin. Yeah, optimally it would be this elevator since it gives you a quick a quick kill on the on the bow. Coming yeah, up. and it's closer to the chest at the end. Mm -hmm. And also, since we did get bad Dampair in game time, uh, we end up burning a little bit more of it, so... Um, but I mean that's that's kind of expected for the most part, so just kind of like a normal uninvert point. Actually, shoot him before he does this uh, animation. You only have a few frames to hit it. Not nice. 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 You got one of them. It's pretty tricky to time because it's right as he stops doing that spawning animation, but not immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very tricky. So coming up here, I'm actually going to bypass the entire uh, the Captain Kida uh, race, whatever that is, um, by doing a weird shot and then some precise little movement here. Yeah, first frame we've shot to get over to this chest. Nice. Oh, my, that, that's really hard. That's a very precise. That's triple frame perfect. Yeah, so. that's very hard. What you would normally do is you would do another weird shot to um, do that trick, but if you can do that, it's way faster. Nice. Got to be real careful yeah. on that slope there because you actually can crash if you do a weird shot there if you're not careful. Also, yeah. This, so this is grave. You can just side hop through. I'm gonna have to get a new angle here. Nope. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, we can clip into the grave. And then coming up here, we have flat cuts in skip. So basically, what uh, Pope's gonna do is he's gonna damage down the uh, iron knuckle and then clip out of bounds using hook shot and then use a bomb to kill it right as he voids out. And that'll skip the cutscene. scene. I do need like some silence here. One second here. Yeah. yeah. Nice. 
Nice. Good job. Pretty good so far. Yeah, yep, not nice. too bad. Um, yeah, we got some donation time now, if we have any. I can hit you with some $75 from Skiddly Winks. After traveling in a snowstorm for three hours, including battling an unexpected flat tire, I made it to AGDQ for the run I was most looking forward to this evening, Majora's Mask. I'm so glad to finally be attending a GDQ in person. Thank you to everyone who makes this event possible. I rolled a 15. Let's all do our best to help beat cancer. Thank you, Skiddly Winks. $20 from Pseudo Fork Bomb. Had to make sure to get in a donation during my favorite game of all time. This run has been amazing so far, and I'm so excited for the Majora fight. We're coming up on that within probably around the next hour or so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming up fast. Yeah. So in here in this room, uh, you can use Goron, just hold A and left, and you can just move all those, move across all those invisible platforms. And also the Great Fairy Sword like destroys these guys. Yeah. It's so nice. So coming up here, there's going to be an, another uh, letter recovery, like the one Dope did at the start with uh, the home menu buffer. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that we had that. Yeah, we're going to be able <laughs> to do sure. it again here with the uh, Express yeah. Mail. Yeah. Because we need the Express Mail to give it to the postman for the postman's hat and then show it to um, Madame Aroma mm -hmm. uh, to get the Chateau bottle. Then I might need some help with uh, the speeding up time. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. No one wanted to do it. That's so right. I'm, I'm used to the, the route difference. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, solid graveyard. That was really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nice. Got to check and see if yep. postman's in here now. <laughs> So here's that second lyric recovery. You turn on the Wiimote? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Nice. Oh, nice. First try. Nice. Yay, Nintendo Go. <laughs> <laughs> and we are good. Uh, nice. nice. <laughs> That's Both really... Both recovery, let's go. Yeah, missing this would be like a minute and a half. Yeah, missing this one is a way bigger time loss than the one I did earlier in the run. So this is another little fun part of this run. We're going to be duplicating this gold dust here a lot. Um, and the reason why we're... Oh, whoops. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to... For whatever reason, they had it to where you need to put 5,000 rupees in this bank to get the heart piece. So um, we're getting the... This is the next wallet upgrade that we were talking about earlier that we don't have to get the... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that trick I set up all the way in for a cycle was so that we can get the um, Giant's Wallet here. So here Pope is going to sell the gold dust over and over again with a trick called uh, Bottle Dupe, I think. Yeah, Gold Dust Dupe. Yeah, yeah. Gold Dust Dupe. So yeah. what he's doing is before he gets the, the yellow rupee there, he's mashing the bottle button. So the game thinks that he's selling the empty bottle. Uh, on C left instead of the C down bottle. Mm -hmm. So the game is updating C left instead of updating C down. <laughs> so yeah, you can, so you're swapping out the active bottle in Link's hand. Yeah. And then uh, if you purchase the bomb bag there, uh, while the rupees are ticking up, you actually get it for free. So now uh, I still have full rupees here, and we're going to go ahead and start the depositing process here. We have a bunch of trips. So it's, yeah, it's 10 trips to the Curo City shop there. Yep. I mean, I, I just don't understand why they would have made it 5,000. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe 1,000, yeah. but like 5,000? Yeah. You get a uh, blue rupee for 1,000. Yeah. Yep. Nice. A mere five rupees. With interest. <laughs> yeah, yep. great interest. And this is a perfect time for donations. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, we were just handed a piece of wonderful artwork uh, that says... Tingle hearts you and <laughs> oh my God. holding it up for the crowd at home. <laughs> Hopefully we can show that at some point in the future. That is incredible. Um, it's troubling. I love it. $10 from Steamed Hams. 
I thought I was done donating, but I went into some houses and I smashed some faces. <laughs> the camera. Nice. And I found enough rupees to say, Tingle is an absolute boss. Despite being ostracized and publicly shamed by his family and even certain GDQ hosts, <clears throat> he faces every day embracing who he identifies as on the inside. A deeply creepy and slightly price-gouging fairy. Wonderful. Amazing run. Been watching since 2013, and this might be my favorite event. Lots of love to all the runners and everyone who spends their time organizing the week. Uh, thank you for your tingle donations. We are 82% of the way, just a little over $500 towards activating main mode. And honestly, I'm looking now, we're almost that amount towards 1.4 million. If we can get those donations wow. in, Sheesh. we're going to hit some major milestones here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the rupee ticking sound is. <laughs> you hear a lot of that here. Music to my ears. Hi. What noise? <laughs> just yeah, walk it out after at this you do point. this for a while, you kind of just forget that yeah. some yeah. things are happening. For me, it's just like I don't want to sell the gold dust. <laughs> yep. Keep the donations rolling. Absolutely. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> we have a we have a fifty dollar donation from Space. They say donating on behalf of my uncle, whose diagnosis was confirmed today. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks for all you do, GDQ. Let's kick cancers and Majora's butt. Absolutely. For Space's uncle. And we have a fifty dollar donation from. Derva La Nana, they say roll to 10 and it hits. You've dealt 50 damage to cancer. An ironically average roll for an amazing cause, but let's see, keep the damage rolling. $120 goes to PCF, that's from Greg. Thanks so much. They say, did someone say Majora's Mask? So happy to watch my to get to watch my favorite game played by four incredible runners. Shout outs to the Majora's Mask speedrunning community, Pope, Dope, Marco, and Morpheus, and shout outs to the four streamers communities, the Squid Squad, the Dope Domain, the Mighty Morpheusers, and the Country of France. Incredibly <laughs> proud of you all. Nice. That's true. <laughs> Donating five dollars per mask. Good luck and Alazi. Oh, we hit 1.4 million dollars. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, shouts to the French community who's probably asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> the French community is not asleep. Oh. Uh, the French community, I believe, from Profit Twitch donates one thousand wow. dollars with a heart. Wow. They said, "Nah, -uh, not us." <laughs> How do you say no in French? No. 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 Okay. No. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> that. Should I speed up time here, by the way? Like uh, you're, you're good. How many rupees do you have in bank right now? Uh, what, what did I say? Th uh, here, let's check. Like Probably like around 4,700. Okay. What? Probably should uninvert around 4,700, right? Um, yeah, probably. So you should, you should leave clock down at three flats. Okay. So how many and that, do you and have? that's not going to cut it close. Uh, let me check. We have a lot of stuff that we yeah, can do, like in this increment of time. So that's why we're yeah yeah. So yeah, Pope gave the letter to the postman, and then the, what happened is that the postman takes two in-game hours to uh, be available to give us the postman's hat. So we we have to speed up time there, otherwise we'll be too early for the postman. But we we don't we sh we we can't speed up the time too early, otherwise we can't do everything on time before the moon crashes. So we have to. Speed up time at the right time. Yeah, uh, yeah but, but the, now it's too early. <laughs> okay. The biggest problem is that once it hits like the final hour of the of night three, the postman leaves clock time. Yeah, that, that's true. Also, yeah, you can technically like if you make it close enough to him on time, you have one frame to talk to him before yeah. he leaves. But it's not worth it. 
Okay, 42, and then these. Uh, it's the last two here, right? I do. I yeah. do two here, and then I do two uh, more. I tell you, you can invert. Yeah. You can you can invert when you get to the bank here. I would say. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll be that safe. would be safer. So just two here, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, cool. Yep. And then 300 deposit. You deposit 400. Yeah, deposit 400, oh, 400. right? Yeah, yeah. totally. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Other route. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, after this is going to be the last trip. Was it okay. 400? 400. And you can speed up time now. Okay, I'll get to the door and then speed up time. Yep. And we also need to keep the Ocar We need to equip swap the Ocarina because we actually have the letter equip swapped over Ocarina. Okay, so, so now uh, the time's being sped up and we have a lot to do with the time we're rolling down here. So yeah. we're going to try to get all this done here before... Yeah. If the moon crashes, that's really bad. So we got to be super fast here. Yeah, cycle is not over. Clips up on Z. Old trick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two here. I can sell the second one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And that is all the money we'll need forever. Okay. Uh, can I break in real quick? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have a $200 anonymous donation. Heard something about maid mode. That's right, because we have reached 100% on the activate maid nice. mode mega serval donation incentive. That means our next donation incentive is upgrading magical Tetris challenge to expert. We can do it. I, we, we've, we've made miracles tonight. We can do this. Oh, I guess I need this too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, you grotto, forgot the grotto, uh, grotto, grotto. Oh, I did forget the grotto. Yeah. You're right. Good catch. <laughs> okay. So many things to remember. Yeah, there's a lot of things to remember at the yeah. end here. Yeah, even with the clock ticking down like this, there's still so much to do. Your brain's just and like. And if I have to, if I have to slow down time again, I can't. Yeah. yeah. In game time is still fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just like go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this section can be stressful. With, Happy uh, four hours, everyone. Oh, yeah. Good job. True. <laughs> and arguably the, the best character in this entire <laughs> game, Prayer. Prayer. I thought it was Tingle. Or Tingle. No. <laughs> Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> and then the Dongo Grotto. Nice. There's hey. a rock. Nice rock. Get down. <laughs> Getting off of that, uh, I guess, mushroom is a yeah. little awkward. And then, fun fact, uh, the route that Pope's PB is on actually does... Um, Instead of the P-Hat alternate exit that I did at the beginning of the run, he does an alternate exit here in the Dodongo Grotto. Yeah, we're still looking good on time right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, only five hearts to go. Yep. Yeah, we... we, we compared to the 2016, really, I think we get more done in this cycle. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. May have to slow down time. I'm not sure yet. After you couples. Could, you could yeah. if you really want to be safe. You could invert after couples. I, I think you're fine. Yeah, I'm probably fine for You could do one uh, try for the Diku Flower. Yeah. Finally done with the Gossip Stones. Yep. Actually, we're still looking pretty good now. Yeah, this is looking good. There's our post conveniently placed here. The routing is so incredible. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm gonna go in and be a do wonders for this community. Finally, we can free our uh, C right button. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. the whole time I had this letter on C right, if I were to equip anything over top of that, that would have been really bad because I would have had to back up uh, getting this letter again later. But we made it, so now I don't have to worry about it. That's our last bottle, too. Yeah. So then Cafe meets Andrew at 1.30. So we're real good on time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there, like, I guess a little late, but uh, uh, ten, it's yeah. not a big deal yeah, right now. Fine. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, with this route, the ending is not as tight as it used to be. Yeah, in the old route, um, we used to do a very scary uh, hover to the heart piece, but we found a way better strat that saves a lot of explosives in this yeah, and, and we used to grab the keg after that, which we yeah. already have now. Yeah. So after that heart piece, we can just song a time. Yeah. And we got some donation time now for this cutscene here. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. How about this? Noah Hunt donates $50. Thanks so much. I was born in the year this game came out, and my family had me grow up with it. It is great to see how this game was held together by duct tape and good intentions. Enjoy the run. <laughs> and another uh, $25 donation from Dan, who says, The final light has me tingling in my boots. <sighs> Also, rolled six. Thanks, Dan. Love to see those D20 donations coming through. And I want to give everybody a, an update again. We talked about Magical Tetris. The incentive for that is to upgrade the difficulty to expert. And uh, there's a lot happening in the world of Tetris right now for any of you who follow news and gaming. I want to see harder Tetris, and you do too. Currently, we're 12% of the way there, so let's get together and make that happen. Finally getting our sword back here soon. Yeah. Being sword, like, it's ridiculous. Like, just two hours of no sword, pretty much. But Grey Fairy Sword makes up for it, pretty much. Okay, this is crunch time. We got to get uh, a couple heart pieces here, a bomb bag, a gilded sword, all within this time limit here. Yeah, it's, so. cra it's crazy how many things we <laughs> yeah. can do in such a short amount of time. Yeah. 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 You just push it to the limit at yeah. that point. Banana, yeah. Save some in-game time here, switch to Goron. Yeah, you're right. Good call. Finally, we get the Gilded Sword. Now we have a sword on our B button now. So then it's two hard pieces and a bomb bag. And we're done with the cycle. All right, you're going to see some red flashing numbers here on the bottom, so yep. don't, don't panic don't too panic. much. Don't panic. Oh, I'm panicking a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost done. Nice koi. Nice I know. Koi. That was nice. nice. If you if you really need invert, just do it. Yeah. You, you can you can do one try. For yeah, this. one one try. Yeah, but you have time for it. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, there is a trick where you can clip through the flower and skip giving the uh, deed. Yeah. So let him focus here. Yep. Ah, that's one from. Yeah. You, you should invert it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, just, I'll just it invert. Yeah, just play it safe. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, that's fine. This trick is always scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Piece. And end of cycle and two. End That's of the, cycle two. Yeah. Good job. What a relief on that. <laughs> All right. It's not over, but that's a huge part. That, that's a huge, huge thing. Yeah. 
407, not too bad. I mean, yeah, we could we could get the sub five hour time here. Yeah, yeah. sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, this uh, next cycle, third cycle, is relatively quick compared to second cycle. Like, it's only like <laughs> half an hour. Yeah. So first things first, we're just going to withdraw money and buy a lot of explosives. Yeah, as much as we can. Yeah, it feels good to get all that locked in now. Okay, I'm going to buy a bunch of bomb juice here, and this is actually going to carry us to the very end of the run now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to use them for all sorts of different things here with hovers and ocarina dives and all that stuff. So first thing we're going to do is go get the mirror shield. Um, and typically, you would go through the bottom of the well um, to get the mirror shield, but we're going to go um, a different direction. Still in the well, I guess, but... Um, we're going to the exit. Yeah, yeah. And there's a very big hover that we're about to do that's also very laggy. It's an 18 bomb true hover, I think. Yep. A gainer up here. Come on. And, uh, <laughs> Gainers are the hardest trick in the run. They are. <laughs> They're so difficult. Um. So yeah, we're just going to hover over to this tall heart piece on the pillar. Yeah. And it's going to get laggier as uh, he progresses. Uh, we'll do that. Nice. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. <laughs> That's so laggy. Cool. Okay. Good. Now I can just drop a bomb and then do our eclipse and do a weird shot around the sunblock. Nice. So I can hook shot the torch and then grab our mirror shield. Okay, now we're going to go and head and do Secret Shrine. Uh, but the first thing that you'll notice here is I'm going to grab a fairy. And that's going to come into play um, right at the end of this cycle here when we get the All Night Mask. We're also going to be uh, doing Blast Mask this cycle too. So at some point, uh, Pope's going to play Song of Double Time to start that uh, counter down. It's our like a last game time event. And then basically the secret shrine here is just refighting a bunch of mini bosses that we've already seen. <laughs> And we get to fight Ward again. Yeah. Yeah, so as Dope said, this is the Blast Mask segment. So from this point, uh, Pope's going to try to be as fast as possible to do everything he has to do before uh, and make it on time for Blast Mask at midnight, and midnight 15. Yeah, uh, he needs to be in North Clock Town by at least like 12, 15. Yeah. And 
and, and thankfully Secret Shrine here goes pretty fast with the Great Fairy Sword, and we can also utilize Bunny Hood here again. And then we won't be getting any of these chests because they just have a lot of money we don't need. Yeah, these chests are examples of... Um, they're, they're just rupees, so yeah. because they don't go back with us in uh, Sangha time, it's not part of the 100% requirement. And then this is the one that can potentially waste a lot of time depending on what happens. <clears throat> so just storing that Great Fairy Sword jump slash damage again, getting ISG. And then the same thing in Great Bait Temple. Ah, uh, uh, that was late, yeah. Nice uh, RNG there. Uh, yeah, the, uh, it's RNG when he opens his eye again, but right. that, that was not bad. We're, we're still good on time. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're good, we're good. That's why we song up. We usually, what, uh, if you're trying to go for like a record or P good PB attempt, like you song a double time way earlier. Like the optimal spot would be like right when you get a uh, mirror shield and doing that is so scary. So there's actually a way to um, get a quick kill on Wizrope here, but for some reason in this room, uh, we don't go for it because you actually have a one in three chance of getting a soft lock in here if you do that. So right, I mean, typically I can go back over there. And that was just found out there. recently too. Um, and so typically I could go and, you know, hit him again right before he does this little cutscene here. But um, you have a very, very high chance of soft locking if you do that. It, he's like stuck in the running animation. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the Great Fairy Sword is very powerful. Yeah, one more set of enemies here. Nice. It's cool that the great spin reaches all the way back there. Just can one hit all those yeah. guys. Yeah, we're good on time for sure. We got some uh, time for donations right now, if you have any. We absolutely do. We have a fifteen hundred dollar oh anonymous wow. donation. And they say with two exclamation points, so you know they mean it, they say Expert Tetris. <laughs> Just a second ago, we opened up the Upgrade to Expert Magical Tetris Challenge Incentive. You have already gotten it to 40% of the way there. Give yourself a round of applause for that one. If you can get three incentives done just during Majora's Mask, that's that's amazing. That's what I want to see. <laughs> that's like a relay race of its own right there, right? <laughs> we also have $100 from Clear to Land. How many chews would a bomb chew chew if a bomb chew could chew chews? The answer, of course, is H. Amazing run, gentlemen, and thanks for supporting a great cause, AGDQ. All right, so coming up here is going to be a, one of the more tricky minigames here. Um, the hardest torture game. Yeah, yes. so. <laughs> this first round here is pretty easy, but the second one is one we'll need to focus. <laughs> mm -hmm. We only need to get 40 Octa Rocks for uh, Quiver here. Yeah. Oh. oh, you shot a blue one. <laughs> the blue popsicle. The blue popsicle. Yeah, that's what I call them. <laughs> yeah, and this segment is timed in such a way that he kicks us out right after the second round is over. Because he ends the shop at 10 p.m. at night. So, you gotta be really careful in this part of the run. Man, all the blue pops goes going down. <laughs> and then this is the trickiest pattern right here. Yeah, exactly. It's like an X. Yep, nice. Yeah. Good. So you can end the mini game right at forty, and then this this one he can't hit any blues. So good luck. I mean, technically yeah. you can. Technically, yeah, technically you can if you're Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Um, well, I, I guess now you, you, you have to go for it. You could do it. You could do it. You got to go for it now, yeah. I believe. Yeah. That's going to be the most clutch moment ever. That's going to be insane if you get it. Dude. It's to be really fast. Oh, oh my god! Yes. What the heck? Let's go! Let's that go, is dude. frame perfect. Oh my. <laughs> and it saves time too. Incredible. Dude, that is insane. I promise that wasn't scripted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get it? I've never done that before. Wow. No, that was the first That's crazy. Man, first ever. That's never happened before. That's good. <laughs> Dude, I told you, it's free. <laughs> I can't even talk to the... Yeah. Oh my... You did it on purpose. That is, that is sick, yeah. <laughs> and now we get to chill with some yeah. wounds. The Ballad of the Windfish, apparently. Uh, do you usually put the fairy on the sixth bottle? I was wondering. It's I usually the, it's on the, it's on the fifth. It's on the fifth, yeah. Yeah, but you got it on the sixth bottle there. I don't. Did I? Yeah, did you did. I mean, there's there's a fish in the. Um, Wait, did I get it on the? the I think those. that doesn't work, right? I was thinking about it. Yeah, Is because. Oh, I yeah, did. Too. You're right. Okay. It's not a big deal. So you need to grab a fish instead, right? Yeah. In the item shop. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Good catch. I um, did not realize that. Yeah, I wanted to ask about it earlier, but this yeah. segment's so crazy. Yeah. Man, that man that got me awake right there. <laughs> <laughs> And also, just for this little part, uh, you just kind of want to end on Goron because uh, it just saves the transformation. Yeah. Yeah, we got room for more. Yeah. All right. We've got twenty dollars from Nick Does Voices. Tingle, tingle, kulu limpa. Y'all are still on this. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. As long as your donations go towards upgrading Magical Tetris Challenge to Expert, which is now at forty-three percent. Yes, that's right. I'm going to keep pushing it. Fifty dollars from Young Toonfish. Ting what? Tingle is the perfect evolution of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> Tingle, tingle, kulu limpa. I feel like that one deserved a little more gravitas. And $20 from Zephyron. Dawn of the final day. Sad that less than 24 hours remain of AGDQ, but very much enjoying the fantastic Majora's Mask Relay and looking forward to some great finishing runs for the last day. Trans rights. Yes. Based. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to get a heart piece here from the mayor's office. First, uh, it's actually closed right now, so Pope's going to do a quick hover here. And I'm going to do that, yeah. Nice, okay. So we're pretty early for Blast Mask right now. Yeah. yeah. It's good, though. Yeah. And then hopefully Keaton quizzes first try. <laughs> Pope's it, favorite it, part. It's yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, the amount of times I've <laughs> messed up the Keaton quiz on a good pace is just I'm just calling amazing. it pulling a Pope now. Yeah. yeah. 17 hearts. It's so messed up. It's four hours in. You just did all this hard yeah. stuff. Now you got to take a quiz. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you're going to school for no reason. Japanese quiz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of messed up. Yeah. All 100% runners are required to know Japanese, yeah. by the way. I think we have four brains up here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there is 30 questions that you have to know. Pretty much. Yeah. Some of them are really easy because it's just numbers. Mm -hmm. But there, there is a trick question in there that we have, kind of have to look out and be on the lookout for. Yeah, there's the question that has the same three there answers, so you have to look at the question. There she comes. Taking her time, delivering the bombs here. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh-oh. The peaceful town. Sakon, what are you doing? So now, after we slash sock on here, we can do we can do some uh, cool movement here to get uh, to this tree heart piece. 
And then as Sakon is still running, we can do the quiz. Yep. All right. So we got middle. 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 Yep. Bottom. Bottom. Yep. Middle. 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 Yep. Middle. Middle. And middle, right? No, bottom. 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 Yeah, bottom. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Hold the heart piece. Nice. Yay. All right. Those are mostly pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are pretty easy. <laughs> no number questions, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. All right. So that's basically the last, like, kind of big in-game in time event. So from here on out, it's... Just go, go, go to the moon. I wonder if I much. should use Blast Mask here instead to save a chew for the moon. Because I, mm -hmm. I I pulled one on myself. Uh, you so could we can try, get yeah. the hover you, across. You could. And don't forget the fish. Yep. That, that'll that be before we go into Curiosity. Yep. Yep. After uh, the bank. Or I guess before the bank would be better. Okay. Because you get eyes, you have the bank. Really enjoying this dancing. Can I yep. uh, read, read <laughs> yeah. a quick donation here? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> okay, wonderful. How about this? Um, we have a fifth or five dollar donation from Anonymous. Thanks so much. Shout out to Tingle siblings, Ankle, Knuckle, and David Jr. Thank you, Anonymous. Apparently, that is true. That's lore. Uh, that's canon. Also, uh, Cartridge Blowers challenged me. There's so much love for Tingle and Tetris going on right now. If we, and this is going to be really hard, but maybe you can do it. If we manage to upgrade to Expert in Magical Tetris Challenge before the end of Majora's Mask, I will sing the Tetris theme song as Tingle. If you want to see that happen, get those do donations in and make sure you're applying them towards that magical Tetris upgrade to expert incentive. And how about this? I know this person's hype. $20 from the Stantonistas. They say Majora's Mask, four players on one controller, blindfolded? We gotta see this! You know, because they won't. <laughs> I hope y'all are excited for that because it should be coming up. Coming up in, soon. Yeah, it soon. It is coming up kind of soon. Yeah. And then here it's just jump slash all the logs to get yeah. next points. I just want to shout out the live audience right now for Heck sticking yeah. through with yeah. us and, you know, staying up and having fun. So. Yeah, now we're basically making it night three so we can go ahead and buy the All Knights mask. And then we'll be getting Elegy and then Cycle 4 is a few Clock Town heart pieces and going to the moon. Yeah, Cycle 3 is almost done already. Yeah, th th that's how quick it was. In, in the older route, Cycle 3 used to have like Aliens and Blast Mask both. But now that it's kind of split up, it's a lot shorter. And now we need a little fish friend to help us do a trick coming up here in the curiosity shop. But first, we need to get in there. But the door is locked. Nice. nice. And then that's all I need, right? And then yeah, I should. Okay. Nice. nice. Hi. Hi. So yeah, 500 rupees for the All Knights Mask. Cool. And then what Pope's gonna do here is called, um, it's, it's basically called Chew Crap. So uh, he's gonna equip swap the Chews, or he's gonna sell the fish first and then mash start. Nice. And then equip swap the Chews, and then place the real Chews over the, uh, Fake ones. <laughs> and then there's already a bottle over our chews, so since they're equipped over a different item slot, uh, we're actually able to preserve that through Song of Time. Because basically the game looks at the chew item slot and it's like, oh, there's a bottle there. So, like, therefore I shouldn't 
set that value to zero when it resets all the items. So since it's over a different slot, we're just able to preserve that item value number. So now I just have to be careful to not equip yeah. over the bomb shoes, because yeah. if that happens, then I It's the same deal with like the letter recovery being on the C button for so long. Also, for 100% definition, we need to have choose at the end of the run. We can't finish with a bottle there, so right. we'll grab yeah. choose in the trials. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Yeah, Very convenient the there up there. Oh, whoops. And then here's a pretty cool trick. Uh, you can do a kind of like a oh. ledge roll clip here. Nope. So you clip in and then do a specific setup. And then just roll. And yeah. then recoil. Yeah. Uh, all the collision of the uh, of the castle is below. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. And now we're at probably the best fight I would say of the <laughs> whole run. I love this fight. I still can't believe I got that perfect skip. Yeah, that that's, yeah, that's that insane. was nuts. I mean, the, that that was highlight of the run. It would have been. <laughs> It would have been a huge time loss. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, would have, that, that would have been a massive time loss. That's, like, that's like one that I was thinking about. It too. was going to be a bad time loss, and then you save time with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, this fight's pretty easy. Great Fairy Sword, yeah. as always, just destroys everything. Yeah. And just one spin. <laughs> the spin is so Fast. big, it hits them twice. <laughs> <laughs> and four spin on this guy. Or just two, I guess. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> already. <laughs> it hits twice or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Nice. And now LG of emptiness that is basically useless because we already finished Stone Tower. Oh, <laughs> we are in the home stretch here. <laughs> yep. Got time for a couple donations? Yeah, yep. yeah. Go for it. We have uh, some people who were commentating on that minigame from earlier. Uh, $10 from Skuru. Several Octoroks were harmed in the making of that minigame. <laughs> that was so clutch. And $50 from the blue Octorok. I helped. <laughs> <laughs> True. We also have a $10 donation from Noxburg. Thank you so much. The Brazilian official restream commentators, myself, and the chat are also not asleep. Shout out to the amazing runners and this incredible category. It's such a pleasure to comment the run and share your knowledge with the MM community in Brazil. Congrats and good luck. Can we get a round of applause for our Brazilian restreamers and every other Heck yeah. uh, language restreamer that we have out there? There's a French restream too. Yeah, there was a right? French yeah. restream as well. <laughs> we had a big donation from them. Lots of other people around the world watching GDQ, donating to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Oh my god, Ben is here. <laughs> He's coming. Definitely not creepy at all. <laughs> Don't look at it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and glitches kills you technically. All right, and that is cycle three done. Woo. So we just have Grandma Story Heart Piece and Clock Tower Heart Piece, and that's it. Yep. And we, yeah, we got everything else, right? Yep. Don't yep. have to go back. Wow, that's actually really nice, so we don't have to go back. Yeah, anything. we didn't have yeah, to back no. up anything. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, Grandma over here. We're going to get some stories read by her, and then that is pretty much it. And then we're going to go to the moon. Yeah.
You want to show off the back of her chair? Oh, I should do that actually yeah. real quick. <laughs> so, just fun facts. Check out the uh, back of the chair here. <laughs> yep. yeah, so, that's an uh, interesting little detail. See, grandma's hardcore. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty hardcore. She's got spikes on her wheelchair yeah, yeah. and everything, so... One more heart piece. Yeah. Um, and that should be Germany. 19 hearts. Yeah. It's pretty amazing when we get this heart piece last. It's like the first one you see in the yeah. entire game. Yeah. Get, this is the final one that we got. <laughs> other than the moon one. Yeah, it's pretty ironic. It's but nice it's, it's useful, though. It's nice that it has purpose yeah, for it, too. We, we do ISG on it. Yep. That's so, yeah. yeah, you can just stand here and then crouch stab. And I uh, messed it up uh, again. <laughs> yeah, I think you're a little further away. But that's 19 hearts in the rest. Yeah, I guess I'll just do... Make sure to do a regular slash to get Last damage mask, right? your sword. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 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 Okay. Nice. Then we're going to the moon. Yep. I think we're still on good sub five phase. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Looks like it to me. Yeah, we're we're on so, really good sub five pace right now. Yeah, are we? Sub, yeah. 50, sub 455 actually. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Below estimate. Let's go. <laughs> yep. All right, we got a nice long cuts in here for lots of donations. If you have any. Yeah. Uh, I, I, they haven't stopped. Um, <laughs> $25 from Lizard Queen. Greetings to Pope, Dope, Marco, and Morpheus. H. H. <laughs> Mabel Zero gives us $25. If this donation is something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Thanks for the excellent Majora's Mask run. It's my favorite Zelda title. Queenie gives us $50. Thanks for the awesome event this year, GDQ. Majora's Mask is a personal favorite of mine, and the relay run this year has been amazing. Huge congrats to Pope and the rest of the runners. Kick Majora's butt! Bacon the Biscuits doesn't have a comment, but they just give us $100 to BCF. Thank you so much, Bacon the Biscuits. Thank you, Bacon. $5 from Doodlebee. All right, $5 for Tingle Sing Tetris. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Limpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Vicarious Vice gives us $50. Shout outs to my friend Nisha, who is also a Majora's Mask enthusiast. This run has been nothing short of amazing. And I'm looking forward to the blindfolded four players, one controller Majora fight. Good luck with the rest of the run. Yeah. There you go. $720 from Lumancer. Only 21 hours remain, but time is not eternal. Please, make the most of your GDQ. $250 from Altendo. Fantastic work in this Majora's Mask run. Let's beat Majora and Cancer. Let's go! Yeah. Wow. I think this will be the first ever GDQ sub five two. Yeah, oh, yeah. This yeah. is exciting. Like <laughs> fifty dollars from Gormless, longtime viewer of GDQ, and love that what you all do. Majora's Mask will always be my favorite Zelda game since I was a kid. So let's let the moon crush cancer instead of the poor folk of Termina. Twenty dollars from Antha. This is my partner's favorite game. He's sitting on the couch next to me, super sick with a cold, but he's determined to see this run to the end because he's enjoying it so much. You're all doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work from runners to crew. These donations are all because of you. Can I get a hooray? Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> hooray. 
$25 from Pink Noise. I rolled a few D20s to see which ones would test nicely. And three of four rolled a five. So I guess my donation's 25. Cheers to the runner showcasing my favorite Legend of Zelda game. I suppose this fate's not so terrible after all. I gotta ask my friends over here who are playing Majora's Mask, what is your favorite Zelda game? It's funny. Is it a uh, crime to say it's not Majora's Mask? <laughs> I was, yeah. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> it's, it's tough. I, I mean, my first ever was Ocarina of Time. Yeah, but me I too. Mean, I mean, this one is... It's so close. I actually never beat the game for the first time until I beat. I did my first speedrun of this game. I, I got I too frustrated as a kid, but I, I've come to love this speedrun. It's so amazing, and the, the people in it. It's hard to pick between this one or Wind Waker for me. Oh, yeah? Wind Waker is really good. Yeah. My favorite is this one. I mean, this guy <laughs> plays all of them. Like, <laughs> all of them. I mean, not all of them, but <laughs> a lot He's of good them. in, like, three eventually. games. Eventually. Yeah. yeah, maybe eventually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine is Tinkles Rosie Rupee Land. Thank you all for playing. <laughs> $25. $25 from Zippo. Is it just me or does the Curiosity Shop guy's laugh sound like Scooby-Doo? Let's wrap this up. <laughs> Love you guys. $50 from Pewee Taken. Congratulations on another amazing marathon. AGDQ is one of my favorite times of the year. Thank you so much. And this is uh, entry to the moon here. Yep. Longest we got four trials over. and a final boss and a very special presentation of the final boss yeah. tonight. Yes. We originally did plan that each of us would get an individual trial, but we decided that with all the equipment and whatnot, we're just going to have Pope do all of them. So we'll start off with goats, which uh, can be tricky. It has uh, one trick. Oh, I don't want to give away blast. Yeah, that's so. true. I want to give away you instead. Yep. Yeah, all these trials are pretty straightforward and pretty short. What? We got a tricky little jump here. I'm going to use the blast mask to uh, sort of get over there. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Nice. And then here it's just hold A to win. And hopefully you don't get the reverse bonk. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, good. Yeah, you actually, if you hit directly in the center of this chest, you can get a bonk backwards. Yep. And, and you just void out yeah, if you don't stop it in time. A bit of precise movement up here, too, to get through the end of this. Yeah. Nice. nice. I hate this. Yeah. The warp, yeah, it's the so warp bad. spot. Yeah, yeah, there's like a little warp spot on the floor there. Yeah. It's so sketch. Uh, okay, next is going to be uh, the Link Trial. And this is where we're going to get our bomb shoes back for our inventory. Yep. Yeah, there's a convenient chest right after we kill the Iron Knuckle. I mean, this trial kind of reminds me of, like, Secret Shrine. It's just a bunch of mini-bosses again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also takes the most masks. Bunny HUD and Great Fairy Sword being useful once more. This is the real Fauna boss right here. Yeah, this, this, guy. this guy right here has He's been waiting. He spent four he and a half hours yeah. trying to get here, and then, you know. Just, <laughs> all right, that's a, a single Dino Falls four hours in. Yep. <laughs> Almost five. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. 
Guard Master in this room is a little annoying because there's kind of less space to maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not too bad. Nice, and then me watch. Boom! That's nice. nice. We basically kind of have a gag going on where if you don't get that ISG, uh, uh, your PB cannot be verified. <laughs> okay, so I want that, and then I forgot I need to. I'll grab this just in save. Yeah, that's also lucky too. Yeah, it is lucky. Yeah, good drop. So yeah, now that we have Bomb Shoes back, uh, Pope's going to do a hover off of his chest. Because um, I think normally you need my other equip here. It's um, Bunny Hood. Bunny Hood, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, in this room you're supposed to hit a switch, a, a nice switch to open the next door. But you can just play Song of, uh, Song of Storms there to set the flag into the, the switch and this share the same flag. Yeah, it's just the fairy spawning that yeah, the fairy the flag. Yeah, it sets the flag yeah. like this. Yeah. So definitely got to take the mask off here because there was a time where I left the mask on and if you match through the text there, they ask if you want to head back to the front of the moon or something. <laughs> and I got kicked out and that was just a tragedy. Wow. I did not know that could happen. Yeah, so you got to make sure you're not like wearing a mask. All right, next will be Deku. And then we're starting to prepare for this Majora fight here pretty soon. Yep. If you do the optimal strats for this trial, uh, the de the Adola trial is pretty scary. It, for me, it's like the last hurdle before you're actually home free. Yeah. Uh, second last heartbeat. Yeah. All right, so we can get ISG off of this gossip stone, and then use the rest of our explosives to cross this gap. Um, I can just use two, right? Uh, Goron. Oh, right. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, use all eleven here. Yeah. Be fine. That was nice. Good. nice. <laughs> Yeah, technically you can cross that gap with 10, but it's a little riskier. You have to really extend those hovers. I've only ever done it Yeah, once. and you need a good angle, too. And then the Zora trial is pretty free. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just swimming. Yeah. Easiest trial. Can you hand me my beanie? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the maze here is the same every time. Mm. And finally, after Almost five hours. That is 52 heart pieces. We have hearts. officially gotten that all is 100 of, almost GG. of the hearts. We still have Fierce Tedious Mask to get, but yep. all that's left is a mask and a final boss that is we can't something see. that we can't even see. <laughs> so that'll be fun.
right. Okay, so here we go. Get yeah, the fierce deity mask. I'll get the magic. And I'm gonna grab the magic too. Yeah. I'm actually gonna save some magic. Here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You, we could <laughs> run out of magic. That's that's true. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Final boss. Should I just sit over here? Um, or do I come over there? You could come back, like, down over here. Yeah, the cable's just in front of you, though. Are we doing it the same as last time? Um, here, I'll just go back a little bit. Here, okay. how about that? Crowd, are you hyped for this? Yes, here we go. Let's go! Alright. Alright, you get stick dope. I get the stick. Everybody good? Alright, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get stick. So many hands on one controller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Target. Yeah. This phase two is going to be the most annoying, I think. Yeah. Yeah. With the masks. Yeah. Just mash target. Very nice. Got it. Okay. That was a remain, right? Yeah, just hold it. Oh, okay, this is fine, I think. It's actually good that we're getting rid of the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. nice. There's that. Now we just have to wait for the title target. How many did we kill? Like three? I think we, should, yeah, we killed all of them. All four? four. Yeah. We killed all four? Okay. So now we just wait for title target to hit. Yeah, just listen Listen for the target. Yeah, that'll okay. be good. And then my be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is going to be the hardest one. Yeah. Can't find him. <laughs> Where is it? I'm... He's running. Come on. Oh, he tripped himself. He tripped himself. Yeah. I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> okay. One more phase. All right, yeah. I'm going to stand still. We should try jump slashes. I haven't pressed the button yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We could, but... I'm just going to mash. I yeah, guess. we're just going to mash. Yeah, All right. Yeah, no. So target and then just mash B. Yeah. Come on. Time! Nice. 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 <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice job, guys. God, yes. Yeah. It's over. Oh, man. Nice job, dude. No. Nice job, dude. No. Bray run. Y'all, that is a sub 455. That is 452. Nice. 52. Yo, All nice. right. Good That's job. Good. That's good job. for a marathon. That's pretty good. Yeah. First sub five. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. This was yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it, it was super long run, but we're just super grateful to have everybody here watching, especially this yeah. late. And um, we really hope you enjoyed. Um, definitely, once again, just want to shout out everybody that's played tonight. We have uh, Marco over here, yeah. uh, Morpheus here. Uh, I'm Pope Squidward, and this is Dope Zero. Um, definitely give our, their Twitches a follow. You know all that stuff, and uh, you know all of us. Just routinely speed on this game and have so much fun with it, and we're excited to you yeah. know progress with it. So, um, thank you all so much. We uh, we we love this. So, shout thank out you. to the MM community and everyone who yes. puts work into making this game yes. what it is today. We have resources. We have tutorials. If anyone's interested in trying to learn the game, I mean they're they're there. So yeah, and thank, thank you. You can thank message you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, GDQ. Thanks. All right. Thank you. <laughs>